let me do this sound test. So, um, Chris, say test something. Test something. Okay. Uh, Austin. I push my fingers into my eyes. It's the only way to slowly stop the egg. Kobe. Oh, okay. Um, test one, test two, sibilance. Mm-hmm. I have to say, do you just have a radio voice or do you have a high quality microphone? <laughs> um, <laughs> Looks like a Blue Yeti. Know. It is. It's just is a, it blue a Blue Yeti. Yeti? Mm-hmm. All right. Why doesn't my okay. Blue Yeti make me sound like that? Dom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Cole, Cole, release an um, app. Release an app. Yeah, my Blue, you ready, voice my blue Yeti yeah. doesn't teach me, uh, what is it, elocution? <laughs> you don't need elocution. You've got an Umber, Australian accent. Umber. That's all that matters. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then, if you watch the news in Australia, it's insane. Yeah, because they're Australians that also speak like the rest of the rest of you people. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and Sean, he's pointing out that if you Sean? come if you come to North America, the girls like an Australian accent. Yes, that's what I'm saying. They, they do. Sure. Blimey, crikey. Yeah, every, everyone in Australia tells doesn't me I work have when you fake an it. Irish or American accent, so it doesn't even work you. <laughs> Sean, say say something, Sean. Uh oh. Say something, Sean. DJ Swing Ripper on the ones and twos. He's he's about to just drop like the hardest sixteen bars on the face of the planet. His palms are sweaty. Knees, he weak, arms are heavy. Sean? Sean, I'm not seeing the vomit on your sweater uh, already. Yeah, I... Oh, okay. All right, I got... All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> see how the recording... I'm not went. seeing any change in the waveform on my side, so if that's concerning. I'm hearing you. I'm yeah. also... I'm I think that's only any... because... Oh, I'm hearing you, though. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hectors, as you call them. Uh, there's the enforcer whose sole job is to just, you know, drop gloves and beat people up. But there's also the grinder whose sole job is to check people into the board, steal the puck, and then pass it to the skill players. Yeah, well, that I think that second role is still around. Oh, it 100% is, for sure. Yeah, yeah like Quidditch. That's uh, exactly. When uh, when So I played hockey when I was in elementary school because hockey is surprisingly kind of big in Southern California. Um, and, uh, I was for all intents and purposes, we weren't allowed to check other players, but like my like go-to game plan was like the kid would have the puck and then I'd skate up and then like slowly like inch him into the boards. And then like when the ref couldn't see, I just like throw a shoulder. And Well, there was actually like, uh, in the mid nineties, there was, a uh, a point in which, uh, the coach of the New Jersey devils, came up with a, a strategy of intense forechecking, um, which uh, is an incredibly defensive strategy that no one else is doing. And uh, he took an inferior team to the Stanley Cup finals using it, and it ruined hockey. <laughs> Wait, I thought you know nothing about sports. Well, no, uh, he as used I said, to watch I hockey. To he got watch. bored with it. The, okay, yeah. so you're, oh. you know, they they dropped update. You know, they dropped patch seven point two, and now you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like what I I hate the new errata. <laughs> hey, um, quick Where's question. my first level feet? <laughs> I can no longer Kobe? change my call settings. Is anybody else seeing that? Like, I'm clicking on the. Little... Oh, because I started the recording, probably. Ah. Um, I can turn it off and on no, again. No, I, I was just going to try my my better camera one more time, but it looks like it's having the same issue where like it it connects and it's fine for several seconds and then it just stops working. Oh, so, so whatever, we'll work? just settle for the inferior camera. Okay, should I put a big disclaimer saying Kobe? You know, no, it's okay. <laughs> just 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 handle <laughs> it in post op. <laughs> A quick disclaimer at the beginning that we were jealous of Colby, so you whitewashed <laughs> the screen a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely look about as pale as you can possibly look. I look like I'm from Canada. <laughs> hey, uh, Kobe, um, Ariana and your character, I meant yeah. to ask... Um, did you have an idea of how you would be connected to the town of Falcons Hollow? 
No, my, no? My, okay. my thought was that I would be kind of a wandering, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I am, I am your very generic and stereotypical Kung Fu, uh, you know, character just wandering and, and trying to learn like and, the seventies TV show and write the universe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. And, uh, so let's, say you stumble up, mm-hmm. let's say you stumble upon one of the camps of, uh, um, the lumber camps where they chop down the trees and, uh, it's a rough and tumble place and people are, don't have big manners, <laughs> a lot of manners. And, um, let's say they take you on for a, a little job that they hope to uh, have some help with. Does that sound like a good idea? Absolutely. Fine. Absolutely. Okay. So we'll have like, an open like as a that. as a laborer or as like a mm. some sort of like caravan guard. Just to scout the woods, the nearby woods. Sure. For something. Because because I was going to say I would do either. Like I would, I would, I would <laughs> happily be like a day laborer. Also, you know what I mean. Oh hell yeah! Oh That's yeah yeah! Because you're looking for. That, uh, yeah, and sometimes yeah. that involves toil. Yeah, it's a journey before destination. Irori might be your um, Golarian goddess for you, by the way, or okay. god. I think they, they're they agender. Speaking uh, of Irori, Sean. Uh, I should yeah, know, Sean, but I don't. Sean is a cleric of Irori. I, I should know. Uh... Yeah, the wiki uses he, him pronouns. Okay. So uh, I have an idea of how of how each character will join the narrative. Uh, at that point, you know, do the usual what you look like, um, any broad brush strokes that the audience will want to know, but not necessarily the characters. And feel free to withhold info so that people can discover it later. Ooh. Okay. So or I also am... so that you can make up a backstory on the fly as you play. Right. Yes. Nobody <laughs> has ever done that in the history of roleplay. I certainly haven't. I would never. If someone, if yeah. someone, where is it? Have you ever done this? I would story. say no, sir. Never. That is preposterous. I actually usually spend like hours writing very elaborate and backstories, but I have just not had the time <laughs> for this. Oh, for this I'm one of the people one. that prefers short and sweet. Hmm. <laughs> you and guys may notice you're not that... giving me one was uh <laughs> wait ronald you didn't read no, my 500 page backstory that i gave you and you never gave it and i know you didn't i i think he said he just emailed it about 30 seconds ago yeah he can so read all 500 could, pages if right? you could read that now yeah he is oh my lawyer. god Try, trying to be like we're gonna play on all of the um horror and stories he want, and he wants several references it to, to reenact to all the horror today's stories. session Ronald, if you don't make multiple references to my long, elaborate backstory at least every fifteen minutes when we're playing, like I, I might have to quit. Like I don't, I don't know what to say. The fact, the fact that my character's parents died when he was young, and now he doesn't trust anyone and is a loner who doesn't get along with others, is very unique to myself. Um, and uh, yeah. it's made him edgy. <laughs> So edgy, dude. So before proceeding, I wanted to have the uh, wrap-up uh, discussion we didn't have time to have last time. And I'm going to first ask those who are relatively new to Pathfinder what you have thought of it so far. And also, if any of you uh, had a chance to look at any more Pathfinder stuff over the weekend. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Uh, yes. So our our first session zero, of course, you had given an embargo against going through the rules beforehand. Before, so yeah. uh, what I found is that the session zero was a mix of trying to read, trying to make a character, and trying to participate in a conversation at the same time. I found it difficult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Because I imagine when you make a character, it's usually the only thing you're focused on <laughs> at the time. Yes. That you're a, a constant, an intense, focused person. That's my guess. But also I'm, in general, I'm, I'm not it's, a multitasker. It, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I other people. Yeah. Yeah. Similarly, um, which is probably why, like, I had so little to contribute during 
our session zero because I was just sitting there the whole time going, what am I doing? What's going on? How does this work? What should I do? I don't know. Um, you know how this works, though. You got you, you being confused is exactly what people want to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty boring content. It's just me having a dumb look on my face as I yeah as I, I spent as I tab most of it between. Like this. <laughs> Um, but no, yeah. it's I'm I'm I, ask I've, any and all questions, please. I spent yeah. some time over the weekend, and then even more last night, kind of trying to you know do a crash course one hundred and one on you know getting the basics down. Basically, um, I think the only outlying question that I had was like as far as just mechanics. Um, I mean, we get three actions per turn; those can mm -hmm. be used for pretty much. A, a bunch of different things, but usually it's move, strike, um, and movement can be a step or a, uh, what's the other word? Um, stride. Stride, right. And if you step, it's essentially like disengaging, but you can only go five feet. Striding is your move speed. Um, and mm -hmm. now when you, so when you attack, obviously, you know, you could spend, if you are in position, you could spend all three attacks or sorry, you could spend all three actions making strikes, right? Mm -hmm. But then each one gets progressively more difficult to hit. Um, I had a question on, as a monk with Flurry of Blows, it says that I can basically take one action to make two attacks, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I can only do that once per turn uh, or per round, I guess. Um, but I still need to, I would still need to apply my penalty to hit on the mm -hmm. second attack, even though it's only considered to be one action, it's yes. still like the first attack would be at normal, the second attack would be at minus five or at minus four if I were using an agile weapon. Um, mm -hmm. But that would mean, I'm assuming like hypothetical here, um, first, my, my first action oh, no, is to- <laughs> Very the important so, part, no. It's the cliffhanger. <laughs> Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> you can use this for the thumbnail, same. Ronald? This look? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, that, uh, that kind of works. Wait, Ron, let's see. Yeah, his... Uh, how do we get him back in? He's going to have to figure it out. <laughs> okay. His uh, audio disappeared. He's logging out. <laughs> look at Dom. <laughs> I only did it because Chris did it. Well, Chris, maybe while we're waiting for Colby to come back, I did want to ask you about your thought, because obviously, you know, this isn't your first rodeo with any kind of system. Um, what What is your, uh, like, what's your opinion on errata in general? Because obviously there are some things in 5e that, like, maybe you want errata, and there are some things that are kind of soft errata, and especially yeah. with how the marketing one D&D is being backwards compatible. How do well, you feel about the fact that you couldn't even use the book for the first time you played Pathfinder? Yeah, you know, I'm not a huge fan, and this is, goes for 5th edition too, when they use errata as a rebalancing tool rather than as a, uh, a correction of a misprint, right? Like a lot of errata is, oh, we use wording that was unclear here, let's use clearer wording, or, um, you know, uh, we had a, a spelling error, let's fix the spelling error. Um, but, uh, yeah, so what I came across with this is I woke up early this morning and I thought, I'm going to read my Pathfinder book. And then I'm reading through the wizard and, and it says at first level, you get a class feat. And I'm like, oh, I didn't take a class feat at first level. I should do that. So I go in and adjust my character. <laughs> and then I, yeah, I message you guys about it. It's like, you don't get a class feat at level one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, really? I, I could have sworn and I pulled it out. No, it absolutely says I do. <laughs> oh, no, okay. no, that got eroded. I'm going to create a new recording, you guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, Ronald, you were saying that you were going to give my character like 10,000 XP um, before we went on? I'm afraid that ex uh, whatever your response to Chris Ford, Dominic, I don't know if you want to, guys want to say oh, it. Yeah. If not... Yeah. It, 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 was, it was okay content. We, could, we, could, we can redo it. Basically... 
Yeah, it was, so it was technically a misprint, um, just because I know the, as soon as you said that, the first comment's going to be like, well, actually it was a misprint, but does that... Yeah, no, I just, oh. yeah, so it just, obvi it isn't obviously a misprint, because, uh, you know, even when I was told that it was errata, I thought, let's just take a look at it again, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> doesn't, it looks perfectly formatted, the wording all is there, it, it, it it is clearly intended in this printing to work that way. Um, but they've obviously, I would imagine what happened is they changed their minds, right? They originally had them get a first level feed. And then before they released the book, they changed their minds. And then for my to sense, switch it. Yeah, my sense yeah. is they decided at some point that spellcasters would get something kind of like a first level class feat from one of their subclasses. So like druids, all of their orders give them a class feat, a level one class feat. Yeah. And a focus spell. But, yeah. Well, most of them give a focus spell, at least. Okay. So um, did you continue to not look at, con uh, at Pathfinder stuff over the weekend, Chris? I did not look at Pathfinder stuff over the weekend, not out of an embargo, just out of being yeah. rather busy and same thing yeah. with yeah yesterday. there's been a lot to do lately yesterday was is extremely busy and then uh hmm. so i woke up at like 4 30 this morning and i'm like do i go back to bed i'm like no i should probably read some pathfinder so i pulled out my book and read for a few cool. hours this is on his grind austin any uh thoughts on pathfinder so far uh, so most everything I already know, but, uh, well, not, okay, I don't know shit about, fuck about Pathfinder, but, um, like, outside of the base, like, what we've already done. However, I am curious, because everyone says, like, oh, you know, you attack, you want to attack on your first, or, you know, do a different action other than attacking on your third action. And, you know, maybe this is just my puny, I played 5e too much brain, but I'm like, what? I don't, I don't get it, like... Use first action to close melee. Use second and third action to attack. That seems to make sense to me. But, you know, people on the internet are like, no, 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 you're going to want to use... I'm just looking at the action list. You're going to want to use your feint so that you can deceive your opponent and then attack them or whatever. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out over the course of gameplay, but basically this is a long-winded way of saying that Orion is probably going to die like second session because I'm stupid <laughs> and don't know how to properly play this game. I I will be introducing things as they come. It'll be a process. I am a human beginner box. Also, oh. I should mention, you're a flurry ranger. You actually get to ignore that advice of Let's you should do go. different things with your third action because of your class choice. You just oh. get to see that advice and you just get to say, no. Growing in terms of knowledge is stupid. Stay stupid and ignorant forever. You know, that's just, that's the game plan for, for this. That's really, really a great game plan for you. Oh, yeah. So you speaking of, uh, maybe let me finish my question before I was so rudely interrupted by Comcast sucking. No, let's move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... So here's my question. Action one, flurry of blows, I get two attacks, right? The second made at a minus five or minus four penalty to hit, depending on whether or not I'm agile. Um, second action then could theoretically be a third attack, correct? Mm -hmm. But at a minus 10 to hit or minus eight, if it's an agile weapon. Yeah. For my third action, could I take an attack action, a strike action at like, what would that be? A minus 15 to hit or something? No, like, still minus 10, minus 10 is the maximum. Okay, yeah. got the it. The third, yeah, the double penalty is the maximum. Okay, got it. Um, so I could theoretically be making four strikes in a round. Uh, it's just that the, the final two would be very unlikely to hit. And mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You yep. get two tickle blasts as well at the end of it. Um, and All right, I'm going to turn on music in Foundry, and those of you who are not used to it, it might be too loud. Uh, and there, I will send a screenshot in the Discord of the button to click to change the volume. Yeah, it's it's the upper right. In the upper right, it looks like the sound icon. Yeah, and. So You'll want to go under global volume controls so that it affects all tracks. And it's and turn down adjust the playlists. 
volume. Because you can adjust each track individually or adjust the play all playlists that are going to be played. Got it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready to... Uh, uh, did uh, Dominic and Sean want to say anything before I start? Don't they already know? Yeah, um, I regret playing an Alchemist when we play at 4 a.m., but uh, <laughs> we're going to get through it. Yeah, Dom's oh, wait, the real hero here. Because he's he's waking up at the ass crack of dawn to play this. Uh, the I had a couple is of um, character about questions. To come off. Also, I um, should note that after I said that I was playing Grapple War Priest, I had a couple people go into my DMs and go, "Oh, you're playing Grapple War Priest? Why the hell are you doing that?" So that's how you know I'm picking good options. Let's go yeah. Okay, Chris. Uh, did you choose all the spells in your spell book yet? Yes. Um, I'm not sure how to add them to my uh, character sheet, so what I did is I threw them under notes. Oh, okay. So. I think when you opened spell preparation, you know where that is? Oh, and they're not uh, sitting under my notes. Why aren't they there? I put them there this morning. <laughs> oh, no. Did you press control S? No. <laughs> I think that's the answer, because Foundry is ah. weird about saving notes and documents. Oh, well. Go ahead, uh, save like it's Microsoft Word. I could probably figure oh, it out again. Oh, I, I do need to make a collective note-taking thing, too. Hold on. It's, it'll be under a journal entry. Oh, yeah. I also do just want to give a quick disclaimer. I know we got a couple of beefy optimizers joining us. I am not playing an optimized character. Um, well, neither and am I. I'm going to make bad decisions. <laughs> you're, you're telling the new players that to not yeah. expect perfection. I, I, don't, I, don't how, I don't know how to <laughs> optimize yet, so. <laughs> yeah, well, but, I, I well, but that's the thing. This is more... We're, we're good. Yeah, this, 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 is more, this is more for the audience, maybe people are coming oh. from Chris and Colby's channels. This, I, what, what I'm doing is not going to be optimal play. Hmm. Understood. But I'm hopefully going to have fun with it. That's all yeah, you don't uh, have you to seem to be, be insinuating that you can't optimize and have fun at the same time. No, no, I, I, I absolutely <laughs> optimize and have fun all the time. In fact, I would, I would say that I optimize for fun. Mm, in the, sure. I don't, the don't, don't that make me don't back down. You have coward. the most fun that I can. <laughs> okay, Chris is you're work, you're working on your spell book. I will I will have a completed spell book within minutes. Cool. But do yeah, and not Sean, like guide him through that. And uh, also, Chris, you get three bonus languages from the halfling list. Wow. So can Sean help with that while I talk to oh, someone do, else? Do I not? Um, I believe I had my languages listed on that uh, Google Doc that you had. Oh, okay, good. Well, I'm surprised you haven't taken a bathroom break yet. Yeah, I uh, I will at some point. <laughs> Okay, read me those languages. I'll add them, Chris. Sure. Um, let me pull up the Google Doc. Mm -hmm. I have the Google Doc open if you want to keep on looking through spells. Yeah, go ahead. You see my entire face got lit up white because I opened up a Google Doc. Um, <laughs> uh, his, uh, his fill light. You know, honestly, having an ultra wide with a Google Doc up, that's basically a fill light. I just, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, so the that's, that's is volume screens, baby. The that's the Mandalore. Orcish, Draconic, uh -huh. Elven, Halfling, Orcish, Draconic, common. and Elven. Uh, there's still one more language because we changed int to be 18. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, uh, add Gnomish. Okay, and all, are those all on the Halfling list? I have no idea. I didn't even know there was a halfling list. Sean will check. <laughs> so the, the halfling oh, yeah. list as well is only the ones that are in addition to common. You can always in take addition common to languages. Common, in addition so. to the regions of your language. Yeah. Things common in your region. What? Really? No. Yeah. They list Some of the things listed are common languages. So, But that's, that's it. it. For instance, if you're playing somewhere that has no gnomes and it's like you're, you grew up in a like your GM says, for this game, Gnomish is uncommon. A halfling can still pick Gnomish. Mm, I'm not so sure. 
So uh, I've always treated it as I, the, I'm, these I'm are okay the things you can get way, without. Just let me know if I need to repick any of those, and I'll, I'll come up with something else. Orcish is still yeah. a common language, so we're good. Draconic is still common, we're good. Everything else is common, so we're good. We're good. Hmm. Okay, then next is Dominic. Um, I had suggested studded leather as to some, something to consider. Did you see that? Like I said, this? I'm not optimizing. I'm not going to compromise on my stealth score. Um, no. Okay. The optimal and, choice. So what are your signature formulas? Yeah, um, that is uh, Dread Ampule and Giant Centipede Venom. Okay, and what will you prepare today? Oh boy, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pick all that now. Um, uh, wait, well, Dread Ampule is a bomb, now, isn't you get it? Twice as much. Shh. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so wait, I'm Dread Ampule is a bomb, do... not a poison. It's a poison bomb. Oh, is it on the? It, it, it's under, uh, it's, it works as a, um... Yeah, it, it's, a, it's oh. a poison and a bomb. Gotcha. Um, it has the poison trait. It's a poison. Um, cool. Okay, uh, what do I have? I have three, so, okay. There's gonna be, um, Dread Ampule, uh, Quicks, uh, uh, what, what is it? Giant Set and Pete Poison, um... Mm -hmm. We're going to get a Quicksilver Mutagen in there. We're going to do an Elixir of Life. And I'm going to leave one for Quick Alchemy. Cool. All right. And what else? We have one less language. Um, oh, no, so, yeah, I replied to you on that. Uh, so gnomes start with three languages. Gnomes start with common, gnomish, and sylvan. Do you get gnomish default. also? Whoa. Gnomes get gnomish, yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. What was the third one? <laughs> sylvan. sylvan? Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Yep, that, that makes, makes sense because they're from the first world and all that stuff. Okay, I am corrected. Good. All right, that's all my um, housekeeping. Where's Chris at? I am uh, waiting for the PDF to load the correct pages for the cantrips. Oh. And it's taking a while, so I may just use my outdated book. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, next question, really fast. Somebody's on the door. So I have key strike as a like a monk spell basically, right? Mm -hmm. I can tell um, you for oh sorry, go ahead. I get I get a, I have one focus point to use that. It I assume it costs one focus point to use, and those reset okay. on when when you, you spend ten minutes meditating. For ten minutes. Got it. So basically one. Once per combat encounter, probably. Yeah. Yes. Assuming if I we can focus this for ten minutes. Entirely built around just single combat encounters, right? Like there is no like, oh, you you know, it's a sprint, not a marathon. If I recall correctly, feel free to correct me. People who actually uh, talking about how Pathfinder's balanced. Yeah, like how it's balanced and designed. Uh, it's like expected it that you'll you do go one... into a fight with most of your resources with your hit points mostly healed if not all healed mm. but so it's a five points it to you, regenerate it gives it gives the gm a lot of options to interrupt that healing and that and that thing because it's every, basically all the out of combat like get ready for combat thing is 10 minute chunks mm. so yep. it, it makes it really easy to be like cool your short rest got interrupted Here's how much you actually got back from that. Gotcha. So I have mm -hmm. a uh, complete spell book here. Awesome. Um, all right. I'm so, going to put stuff in if you just read it out. Yeah. So for that prepared way. spells, um, I have Ghost Sound as my illusion cantrip, then Electric Arc, Prestidigitation, Shield, Infectious Enthusiasm, and Light. Mm -hmm. Infectious Enthusiasm. Great. And, and uh, those sound I assume was illusion. Un unprepared cantrips. I have Tanglefoot, mm -hmm. 
message. Hey, hold on. This will need to be yeah. slower. Uh, yeah. Hang on foot. Message. Didn't they used to call? Message. Didn't they used to call you infectious enthusiasm like back in high school? Detect magic. Detect magic. And read aura. Once read you see aura. me role play my character, you'll understand why I took that cantrip. <laughs> okay. And yeah, uh, I for... believe you get oh. a total of six first level spells in your spell book. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was five. One of them has to be from your school. Oh, so it's five plus one from my school? Okay, yeah. I missed that part. All right, well, I've got five here. So I uh, prepared. I have color spray as my illusion, first level. Then magic weapon and grease prepared. Mm -hmm. And then add feather fall and charm. And what else should I take, everyone? Anything? Fireball. Oh, Fireball. Wait. That's probably not an option. <laughs> magic missile. Uh, magic missile. Yeah, magic, there you go. Magic, magic missile always goes well. Fear is also very fun. I will probably, I will really probably, like I will probably keep color spray, magic weapon, and grease prepared most of the time. So the other spells yeah. probably won't come up. Let it be recorded that Chris took color spray as a spell. <laughs> On purpose. I know you hate I that mean, in 5e. It's yeah, probably well, good it in Pathfinder. Do it doesn't do anything in 5e. <laughs> oh. And uh, for the audience, you've changed your arcane thesis, right? Um, Have you? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I, I thought you were doing the metamagic one. Well, I did do the metamagic one. That's what I did originally. Oh. Uh, but then I was going to change Sorry, it because um, I got a first level feat, and I thought, well, I'll take a different arcane thesis. In it. But uh, being that I don't okay. get a first level feat, I just retconned it all. <sighs> right. So I see. So you're at meta magic experimentation, and you have the reach spell feat. And I just want to verify. So if I cast color spray since it's illusion, I get it back after the combat. Is that the idea? No, uh, that's only the, the focus, focus spell. Okay. Oh, if you if I spend a focus point, that. well, no, no, no. Focus, focus point points are a... only spent on your focus spell. Okay. And that is what. Okay, you can so get. it's just one additional slot. It just has its color spray. Got it. Yep. Right. Otherwise, it's just like you know, three E wizard. Okay. And also, wizard can drain bonded item once per day to recover one of their expended spells. I, I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah. And yes, I, it has to be one of the spells that they expended, unlike Pathfinder first. All right, okay. so I'm going to have what my I'm cleric ready. has prepared for cantrips. Oh, yeah. It is shield, detect magic, stabilize, guidance, light, and then for my two prepared slots, they're both magic weapon, and then I have three additional mm -hmm. spell slots which are required to be healed. Heal, heal, heal. Yep. That's the cleric. Heal, heal, heal. That's cleric. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to start. Any, so assuming no one else has any questions, I will start. Um, I have one last question. Can I go pee? <laughs> no. You don't need to ask. Just say you're. Please, can I have a? Can I get a hall pass? <laughs> you, give, you give me okay, flashbacks give me to moment. high school. <laughs> Be right back. School, elementary school. That's not what I was thinking about with hall pass. <laughs> Do I give off teacher vibes? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, I, I, I was thinking he should ask his wife about that. Is my permission as is like that's, my role That's as what I thought you were like alluding to, but I, I didn't want to be the one to go there. <laughs> no, I, that's okay. I'll I'll go there. <laughs> uh, Ronald, I have I have two questions. One, I'm also going to need to make a Formula One pit stop because um, I can pee in 2.5 seconds, and. Uh, Second, <laughs> how are you? Me? Yeah. I'm Everyone fine. asks who have... is the rules lawyer. No one ever asks how is the rules lawyer. I'm fine. I'm gonna have a live stream soon. You can ask me anything. Um, 10k. Woo! There. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> five, five digits. It's I wanted one, to ask two. two um, uh, I... Oh. Yeah, I thought it might make sense since um, Philzo, our alchemist, is established in the town uh, as you have an alchemical shop. Okay. Yeah, Philzo's filters. 
And Zappy is a gambler. Filzo's filters? Am. You sell filters? And is Filter also small. A pH. <laughs> It means <laughs> being a halfling. Um, That's small. Yes. And I don't know. I just thought it made sense. Do you think you two could be buddies already? Sure. Wow. Yeah, the two not? small people in town are friends. Well, not you know, all you know, there are other know small each other, people. Ronald. Zappy pretty and, much considers everyone he knows a friend. Oh, that's wholesome. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, that's he's that's you, another then, thing then. I got from his. Um, if he's, you had re- if you had read his backstory, <laughs> it makes uh, he was gregarious, Zappy, and also there's a gambling hall called the Rouge Lady, a kind of exclusive place. Um, and I figured maybe I, since I, I we're figure Zappy the upstanding probably, middle class. It, he's a gambler, uh, but that's not really his profession since he can't really make a living at it. He's not good enough. So he, he's a part-time oh, okay. dishwasher somewhere as well. Oh, hell <laughs> yes. Dude, this character awesome. sounds awesome. I'm okay. here for it. Um, yeah, Philzo is like an avid people watcher. So there's he pro- the gambling hall seems like a great place to people watch. So that might be where we hang out. All right. So the first thing I'm going to ask, um, when everybody goes to the chat window uh, in Foundry, at the bottom, you'll see a set of dice. Okay. And it says public roll there. So the first thing I'm going to... Okay, let me just uh, describe Falcon's Hollow. Uh, Only the desperate and the brave. That is what set, it, that is the proud motto of the town of Falcon's Hollow. For here on the fringes of Andoran, and Andoran is a kind of a goody two shoe nation, That's lawful lame. good nation. Here in the shadow of the looming volcano known as Drosgar's Crag, the dim, mist laden forests are prowled by feral beasts, ravenous monsters, and the restless souls of the dead. There once was a great dwarven kingdom that brought safety and stability to the region, but that ended with the rending when the volcano uh, erupted. And Falcon's Hollow is now a rough and tumble place with people who fleeing persecution, trying to create a new life, uh, criminals, outcasts who've come here uh, to this town, which historically had a few ruling families, but under suspicious circumstances, only one family, the Creed family, uh, is now in charge. And is basically, and owns the Lumber Consortium, controls the Lumber Consortium, which is the main industry of this town. So here we have a picture of this place. As you can see, everything is made out of wood, uh, wood harvested from the nearby Dark Moon Wood. And it's a place where uh, the Temple of Iomede, the lawbringer, is uh, kind of isolated and has, had, and has been unsuccessful in bringing order and virtue to the place. Uh, we have Philzo, our halfling alchemist, no, gnome alchemist, who is um, owns a place. What is this place, uh, Dominic? Just, you want to describe it? Um, when a person new to Falcon's Hollow stops in to, you know, get some antidotes or anti-plagues, like, or, like, like, healing potions because they've been out on the road, they've been, like, banged up, it's dangerous out there, they get pointed to fill those filters, and it is a bad place to be. It, you walk in, and it just kind of smells like mold and mildew a little bit which mm. you'd think that that's the kind of place that like a potion a potion shop shouldn't smell like strange chemicals you'd think that they'd be pretty regimented in like not getting things contaminated uh may um it's just full of junk it's dark it's not well lit and this person or group coming in might not even see the counter um 
to begin with. It's kind of one of those places you walk in, there's knickknacks everywhere. It's impossible to tell where anything is. And then they might just hear a little voice going, hello, <laughs> what are you looking for? As the, there's a thing that happens to gnomes when they aren't inspired for long periods of time. Gnomes are essentially immortal as long as they are interested in something and engaged in something. Um, and as they lose that interest, their skin turns pale, their hair turns white, and you can anyone that's familiar with this process called a bleaching can see that this gnome is in the throes of it. It's not quite taken a hold yet, but he his face is gaunt. Um, he doesn't smile, and every time he looks at you, it looks like he's dissecting you in his mind. It looks. He's going, okay, lungs go here, and if you take the heart, those valves connect down here. Um, he's not doing that, but it looks like he is. Um, and, and he kind of literally become almost black and white, right? Yeah, that's, so this guy, you I can see the, the, the white is creeping up from the roots of his head and hasn't quite reached the tip of his hair yet. And it's um, he's got these patterns coming... Yeah, I've made I've made a Hero Forge who's he what's it of it. You can see that his hair used to be bright blues and purples. Um if there's no people there or the shop's closed, he's usually sitting on top of the shop. Uh because it's a great place to watch people come and go throughout the town. And he Yeah, that's that's Philzo. He used uh, to be Philzo an adventurer, Norm. right? He used to be an he, adventurer, yeah, but he, he used to he settled he used to here and he likes classic. the town. Yeah, he used to do the classic gnome thing, running around, having adventures, getting into scrapes and tumbles. Um, but Did he take an arrow to the knee? No, not quite. Uh, I think he... Um, what, what, how long ago was the rending? Uh, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Okay, it wasn't that. But I think he heard about this place and he was like, this place seems okay. Um... <laughs> And he really wanted to get into alchemy. So he was like, if I open a shop, that's where I can start start a little business. This might keep me going. All right. GM's asking Chris, is this somebody Zappy would be friends with? Absolutely. Zappy would <laughs> latch onto this guy like nobody's business. <laughs> uh, no, I was thinking about it. Uh, I, I'm sincere. Um because he would do, see what's Do you want happening. to bring color back to this guy? <laughs> and, and and his mission in life would be to get him enthusiastic about things again. <laughs> That's wholesome. It's, Clap him on the back. Treat yeah, him as a fellow. Philzo, you, you're you the greatest alchemist ever. You're too kind. You can't be aging. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens, my young friend. All gnomes go through it eventually, whether it's now or in the next age. You need to go on an adventure. Adventures are the funnest. Oh, no. Can we, can we I put that like as a sound. Here. I, I <laughs> like Falcon's Hollow, and I, I, I wouldn't want to leave it. I'm going to find us an adventure. I uh, have my own little adventures around town. Don't you worry. No, Philzo's not going anywhere. Philzo, you uh, are friends with L Laurel. Laurel Gebri. Oh, is it Laurel yeah. or Lauren? But she is the herbalist in town. Laurel. And uh, a lot of the woodcutters go to her for her herbal remedies. Although the townspeople tend to be very proud folk who... Uh, are very have a fierce independence and are quite stubborn. She's one of the few people they admit they need help from. And she, you happen to know each other well because you are you dabble in similar trades. She deals with more the herbal side of alchemy, and she uh, asked you to uh, come uh, visit her along with uh, that uh, that uh, wizard friend of yours. Bring him along too. So you guys, uh, you two are approaching on this particular evening to the house. 
And now, I wanted to. Now, Zappy, I don't like this woman, but I do owe her a few business favors. So let's just. Why don't you like her? Oh, well, she does that hub thing, and all. She always has people talking to her, and it's. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, Well, you'll see what I mean. (laughs) And. I went to get a, um, from Austin, remember when I pointed you to the public role thing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Click, um, private GM role. Private it's a little GM drop down role. menu. Hey, yo. Yeah. All right. You want me to do a D20? I want you to, um, cl- do a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> so to do that, click your token, the Orion token. I have clicked my token. Okay. And then in the upper left, you should see skills. Hello. Okay. So after you uh, selected private GM role, do a yep. stealth check. Okay. okay. And There's I will check stuff. against um, no modifiers. To speak in 5e, passive perceptions of our two protagonists. Any, no any modifiers. modifiers. Not a single modifier. Right. Hey, Sean, how do people turn off that pop up window if they want? Uh, yeah. They hold shift while clicking. I mean, wait, hold up. I got to be like a poker player. Uh, there's a game setting thing, but I just normally just hold shift if I just want to roll it normally. Like if I roll society, I just hold shift and it doesn't. Yeah. If you don't like that pop up, do shift click when you do a roll. And there is a setting you could change somewhere. <laughs> also, I'm going to go change um, the way my dice look. Oh yeah, you can all play with your dice too. Uh, but uh, I made my roll. Yeah, you can make them unique. You can do them so later. My my perception DC is only fourteen. So okay. What's, what's so your the perception two of you, um, DC? Uh, 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 I forget your character's name. Um, twenty three is going to beat any level one character's perception. Well, DC. why is it a private GM role then? <laughs> oh, oh, announce it. I, I'm showing it you the been, interface. It could have been a crit. You the interface, it, but. I told everybody what I was asking you to roll. So, of course, it's kind of obvious. Um, okay. But uh, Laurel says, welcome, welcome. Why don't you come in? And she she's always chirpy well, around thank you. you. Also. Oh, Good welcome, morning, welcome, Zappy, morning. Zappy. Let's go, Mr. Norming. Let's go. You mind yeah. if I call you Zappy, Zappy? She giggles. She says, I, he's like, oh, yes. Yes, you can call me Okay. That. All right. Oh, I only That's have one. Favorite. I only have one small chair for you. I hope you're. Not, I hope the a regular chair is all right. Uh, I'll stand. Yeah, I can climb up. <laughs> well, she says she sits you down and says. <clears throat> so I, I, I want to speak. <laughs> I want to speak to you in the strictest confidence. Do I have yeah. your confidence? I can. I can keep a secret. Okay. Well, as you know, um, the. Uh, how do I put it? She says she's uh, concerned. Uh, there's been a number of uh, lum- uh, woodcutters over at Best Camp who have been approaching me with similar symptoms who seem to have fallen very ill. Oh, and cool. yes, and with winter coming, I am afraid I will not be able to uh, treat uh, everyone. And I'm going to... Sp- talk to the overseers over at best camp about quarantining uh having a quarantine procedure but the the, one of the ingredients that i need for my my uh for my remedies iron blue mushrooms uh is uh has been very rare this season ah (laughs) you you seem to know exactly what uh i'm thinking uh well there are, uh, I suspect that they're going to be deeper in the in the dark moon wood. Don't uh, worry about it. We're good at finding mushrooms. Yes, yes. And I am happy to give you uh, anything in, as compensation. Uh, and I have a couple of leads, but my hope he is to get these. He looks confused about the compensation part. <laughs> And Zappy, you you need more money. Take the compensation. I got my dishwashing job on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know, Zappy, you need more income. Oh, okay. 
Why do you need a do you need a loan? No, I mean for the gambling house, you don't make enough money to gamble there. As oh, much they say as I, I have like a terrible poker you. face. <laughs> yeah, when he gets a good yes. hand, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and as Philzo and I discussed, I look over at Zappy. I'd be happy to compensate you uh, with with okay. uh, something. In that trust. sounds good. Yes, I will hold it until it becomes useful to you. Yes, as we oh, agreed, yes. Philzo. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I mean, you still okay. don't like that deal, but yeah. all right. She's gonna. Give I think me- you'll like this particular deal. In addition to one of the my uh, my premium libations, I have a little formula here. Uh, over- I'd have to go find it I somewhere. Like libations. A formula for some kind of higher, uh, potent poison that I think you'd like. Well, I mean, we don't 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 worry about the poison, poison, Zappy. That's it's. uh, Well, you can have the poison, Mister Norman. The poison. No, I. She's talking to you, Philzo. She's saying that if you can get this uh, job done, if you can collect perhaps a dozen iron blue mushrooms, that she will share this formula with you. Yes, I, I, I would like that. I don't. I just zappy. You don't need to listen to anything about poisons or illicit dealings or anything like that. Okay. Just... <laughs> okay. And there's a knock on the door at this time. Ah, that must be the priest of Iomade, uh, uh, right now. And Sean, Sean, you have a um, yep. a cleric of Aurori. Tell me what brings, is it he, her? He, yep. What's, what brings him to Falcon's Hollow? So previously he was a soldier fighting a war in lands far away, but he came to a realization that he didn't want to fight other people's battles and he wanted to help people. Uh, he mm-hmm. still had all this combat martial training, but he then started and- putting himself into the faith to help others. I put himself to Rory because the mantra of trying to perfect yourself so that you can then bring that to others and keep control and master your own spirit really appealed to him as a person trickle down spirituality (laughs) (laughs) yes and uh you know you were just looking for a place to stay and uh as you were walking up to what looked like the nearest warm place a Near, a half nude woman came out uh (laughs) the front door and almost fell on you you had stumbled upon the Rouge Lady, a burlesque uh, where gambling and, you know, other um, uh, excesses are practiced. And you saw a temple of Iomide standing in the center of town, a, 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 uh, an enclave of, of peace and, uh, and virtue. And the Lady Sirthana Gensar there um, uh, said that she... Uh, was happy to let you in and uh and also uh told you that uh her friend needed help with a task yeah since you are open to adventures yes to tasks oh yeah he is very open to tasks looking at his current bank account which is the three silver in his pocket (laughs) okay so laurel opens a door and there's lady sirthana and how do you pronounce your name? Jolved? Yep, that's exactly it. Jolved. Jolved. She she welcomes you in and uh and they exchange pleasantries and you see uh a gnome and a halfling inside and uh <laughs> <laughs> Laurel and Lady Sirthana look at each other and uh L- Laurel says um Lady Sirthana and I have uh uh have spoken about uh, our, our what we both need and that we need to assemble a group together for. It will be a benefit to both of us. Uh, Sirthana, then she motions to Lady Sirthana. Uh, Lady Sirthana says that it's... Mm, I'm actually... She says that um, uh, this, this is a, a town... Uh, Turning to Jolved, that is, uh, let's shall we say, 
run by a single man, Thuldrin Creed. And uh, he, everybody here, nearly everyone here works for him <gasps> or is one of his lackeys, uh, whether official or unofficial, even some members of the government. Uh, only the sheriff stands alone against him. And the only reason why he hasn't been, he hasn't had his throat slit is because of the backing of Andoran. And I have been another voice uh, with the backing of Andoran here, um, bringing the promises and uh, bounty of Iomade and her teachings to the people here. A lot of the people turn their turn away when I approach. They don't want to be associated with me as I've spoken out against Thuldren Creed myself. And so uh, I have a... Uh, uh, let, let me say my problem, she says. She uh, talks about a man that, sh that approached her. A man named... Oh, anyone can take notes here. Under journal entries, I'll, I'll assign Sean since he knows Foundry. Under party notes. Oh, um, I've been taking man... physical notes. Oh, okay. Damn. Excellent. I'm on page session one. Break new page. <laughs> okay. The Virgin right. Foundry notes versus the Chad physical notes. It's because my keyboard's loud. A man named Barless Ch Chorton. Barless. He's a humble man, a man of uh, worshipping Arastal, who uh, approached me and was going to go on a hunt and wanted uh, the blessings of the gods. And so I gave that to him, but unfortunately never reported back. And I feel responsible. And I, I fear he may be dead. And I suspect that he is, and you probably are responsible. She she looks uh, worriedly to Laurel, <laughs> and Laurel says, "Now, now, um, Lady Sirthana, continue with your story." And Philzo is uh, don't listen to him. The lady well, says, "I mean, Creed Creed helps this town. I don't think he's yeah, he's rough around the edges, but I I feel you may have the wrong idea of him." Would. Orion, who is theoretically uh, everyone who's not Ronald, close your ears, uh, watching this all from outside the building. Uh, he's hearing he everything, this? definitely. I know he's hearing uh, everything, but would he know this barless turtle blurtle? No. Blurtle. He would not know he would who not. this person is. No. So all he's hearing is, hey, this poor person is, you know, a important someone important has gone missing is my perception correct? yes okay cool. yes but what you're hearing is that this is a very not important person and lady no. sirthan is describing how she uh uh went out and spoke to the different went to uh the different camps uh to ask how if barless stopped by uh one he had stopped by better camp and they saw him head out a couple days ago, and never he never returned. A lot of people disappear for whatever reason. They leave this place to look for a better life, or or sometimes they disappear to some of, one of the dangers in the woods. There are evil fae, monsters, kobolds, and they 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 are not going to do anything about it. The the, the lumber consortium doesn't care. And she, the problem with, uh, she saw immediately that uh, one of the problems was that she's Lady Sirthana. People didn't want to be open to her at all. And so she thought that someone else who wasn't her could go in and investigate and perhaps find his whereabouts. And she was willing to, um, uh, GM speak here, no one can buy anything above one gold piece in the town of Falcon's Hollow or armor above four gold pieces because of the restrictions on placed by Thaldrin Creed. You have to be one of his friends or, you know, get some kind of exclusive permission from him. How, how but, does that uh, affect... Lady Sir, oh, that's actually super um, cool. Sorry. How, how does that affect mm -hmm. Filzo's filters? Am I, like, in Creed's good books, or is it? do I just have to, like... You are. You are. You're okay. in what's called high market. There's low market yeah. where regular people can shop and you're in high market. Sorry, and Creed was the, did you say he was the sheriff? 
No, he's the he's, guy who runs the town. So he's kind of yeah. the he's the, bat, he's the big bad the guy. mobster. What's his full yeah. name? <laughs> yeah. Actually, and would would Orion know this? And if he would, what's his full name so I can write it down? If Orion would know this, Fuldren Creed. You know what? I'm, I'll put his picture up because it's very memorable. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm actually a respectable <laughs> member of the town. Uh, He's good smiling. guys don't have their eyes be uh, <laughs> angry while smiling. That's not a good guy look. He <laughs> has a fascinating look. approach to business. Uh, Lady Sathana seems upset by what you're saying, Philzo, and sees you as like just one of his. Oh, that, but, uh... that was out of character. That was out of character. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, oh, okay. all right, okay. <laughs> No, I was actually, I was responding to what you said earlier. Kind oh, of yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And mm-hmm. she says I mean. as a reward, she'd be willing, she knows somebody in High Market who can provide something um, made out of silver, a, a weapon made out of silver for for, for one of you. Um, and uh, at least to Jelved, though Jelved might not be interested. This is something for the group. She's, pretty, she's able to get her friends to use any weapons. Over. Yeah, I, 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 am a, I am a simple merchant. I have no need for weapons. Can I roll deception? But we want to help anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, Sappy wants to help. Uh, um, no, no, no. We want to help. Me and me my, and Mr. My, Norming. My stipulation that uh, Joel out of that is. As long as I get enough coin to last another week, I'll do your job. All right, you can. You're thinking to yourself, you might be able to sell the silver. However, you know, out of character, you don't. You don't get your your fists aren't treated as silver until like ninth level. <laughs> My fists are never treated as silver as a cleric. Oh wait, I, yes, I'm you're correct. Cleric. I'm not a monk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna hear my brain like. Taking lots of shortcuts while I GM. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sure we don't need a silver weapon for anything in this campaign. I, I think am, I think it's fine. And I am <laughs> sure that uh, me being just like no weapons uh, in armor, you, you'll never get confused as to what class I am ever because I'm not <laughs> blending like five different things together at all. So the two women are proposing that you head to Better Camp, which is, uh, I'm going to show a map of Falcons, uh, of the surrounding area. Can you see that? No. No. We do not know, own any scene. token with vision in this scene. Okay. Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. Oh, oh it yeah. just popped oh. up. This is All right, nice here's map. Falcons Hollow on the River Foam. And this is Better Camp. And then, uh, yeah, that's the big volcano in the distance. It's going to take uh, a few hours travel, like half a day's travel, to get to there. But she suggests that uh, you guys head out uh, to talk to the workers there and see if you can find the any more well, I'm going that way anyway Barlas. to go to the dark wood or the dark moon wood. So we can do it all at once. Maybe we should go together. Yes. I, yes. Yes. Why that was is the idea. Considering the conditions of the world. We made a new friend, Mr. Norming. <laughs> oh. Okay, and Laurel the Gebri. Vibes. Laurel Gebri, uh, I'm going to put a note here on the map. Can I do that? Create a map note. She tells you about Hag Haunted Hollow, and she's going to mark it on. She's going to give you precise. She's going to give you directions to it. And let me see if, you, for those of you who want to see it, I think on the left hand side, click Map Notes. I have and tell me if you see visible, anything on. I think you need to give us like viewership or ownership of it. Yeah. How about now? Well, Looks like a book in the middle it. of the forest. Yeah, I can double click it ah. and it opens. And nothing okay, and haunted it's hollow. It's only a name. Awesome. It's only a name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, she says that the um, there is a legendary hag in the woods named Ulismila, who had. Is she like visitors? 
<laughs> oh, she's long dead. She's long dead. Oh, that's too bad. She says that. I'm sorry for your loss. Did you know her? Me? Are you asking Laurel? Uh, whoever yes. just uh, was telling us about the hag. Oh Joel yeah, no, no, no. She's uh already be getting a brain aneurysm by looking at these two. No, no, never her friend, and never would have been. She was a hag many years ago. Uh, she had a number of lairs in the woods that led to many dead woodcutters. And uh-huh. this site uh, that she points to is, has a clearing that is uh, is particularly bountiful uh, for its uh, herbs and reagents that can be found there. And she thinks that there could be the a... Mushrooms. Yes, that's, uh, you can get those mushrooms. She'll okay. need 12 large iron blue mushrooms, the large, fully ripe. Okay. Yeah. And she basically is promising the party in game terms a level three non poison alchemical consumable of your choice. And for if you are if you are interested in poison, she does have a formula to give uh, if you're interested in that. I am always chasing formula. Mm-hmm. So that is your uh, do you have any questions for the two of them? Can we go soon? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a question for y- you. Uh, Sean, what's your character's name? Uh, Joel Ved. Yes, I Joel Ved. Joel Ved. Tin, right? I, yes. I think I've seen the tin you part? around. Uh, yeah. I do not believe he would have mentioned his family name at this point. All right. Well, then he's calling you Mr. Joel Ved. Fair enough. Uh, I, I think I've seen you around town, but I don't think we've ever spoken. So I, my name is Philzer Norming. This is my good friend, Zappy. I like your armor. He gives a cordial nod to Zappy. Not quite sure how to deal with that. Uh... <laughs> um, tell me, are you a uh, navigational or a survivalist because I haven't been out to the woods for quite some time. Nah. Well, and this may be an issue. I'm what we just ten. fine? Most of my skills were things <laughs> I had to learn in the military. It'll all work out. Well, I, I, I know, more about I know that the military that never camps out in the woods, so I guess that makes sense. It was so mostly my to job to be a field medic. Kobe, I think you stumble upon a um you stumble you walk into the town. You walked let's say a day before. And and what was who who is your character and what uh what do they think of this place? So Ariana do Rathalon. Um, she is a half elf, half human, um, monk. She, she looks fairly unassuming again, kind of, um, forest greens and olive greens. Um, just kind of a, of a, 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 a gi. Um, and yeah, she, she, you know, think about when you, when you see her come on stage, think about just like somebody said earlier, um, you know, the, the opening scene of like Kung Fu, that old seventies movie or well, TV show, I guess first. Um, yeah, she's, she's been sent from her master, um, from her monastery, uh, master Silvestre, um, from the nearby town of somebody give me a nearby town in the world of Pathfinder. <laughs> mm, a nearby town. Or would Townsville? Okay, I'm I'll, from I'll go Townsville. With, I'll go with I'll go with Sandpoint. Um, and yeah, she she so the, at the monastery, her master actually was a follower of um, Iori, and he told her, you know, it's time to stop studying the the unbinding of fetters and actually go out into the world and and put into practice. Um, 
you know, the things that you've been only thus far reading about and, and, uh, you know, kind of being cerebral about. So now it's time to, to seek that, uh, self-perfection, that perfection of body and mind and spirit. And actually he mentioned that there was a cleric of, um, Iori in the area of Falcon Crest and that, um, I ought to seek him out to, to further my, my education. Um, ideally actually a cleric of Iomidae. But I, they're oh, very okay. adjacent. Okay, to, okay. They're yeah. very adjacent deities. Yeah. Got it. I have a question. Did, did you say your your sensei's name was Silvestri? Uh, Silvestre. Yes. And your character's name is Ariana. So, are you heavily inspired by Rocky? Um, because her name, no. the the chicken Rocky's name is Adriana. That's and true. Sylvester Adrian. Stallone plays Rocky. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, that was a, that was a connection. <laughs> No, my wife's name is Ariane, and so I often use that name in my characters, Ariana. Just that's wholesome. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, wholesome. Um, so so yeah, wholesome just, content. You know, kind of your 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 sort of boring, prototypical uh, wandering monk on a quest seeking enlightenment, um, self discovery. Yeah. All and right. so, and so she's wandering into town, just kind of looking. To, you know, that wandering um, samurai trope right just looking yeah. for, for uh and, and you people she can help and you kind of had i assume a kind of a similar reaction as jelved this is a place that is not into the spiritual this is a place that's very much about the presence um the physical and uh getting what you can whether that's money through gambling prostitution exploitation <laughs> Uh, or working under Theldrin Krieg, and you s- see that, uh, and you're immediately approached um, by somebody, uh, a, a man named P- uh, Payden Tiedem. He is uh, one of the people who works right under the boss, and he's telling you um, by the boss, you mean Creed or the Creed. boss of like, okay, yeah. He's a pug fa- You're in a tavern in one of the more uh, lowbrow places in town. He's a pug-faced, mash-nosed man. And one of his friends recognizes him and calls him Payday. That apparently is his nickname. And he is a gruff, crude man. He's uh, He flavors his speech with expletives. And he tells you that... Uh, you look like uh, you could uh, uh, help me with an, a problem. I, I, I can tell just by looking at you that you don't have a job. You're not that's, from that, here. That's obvious, <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. I can uh, give you some uh, something valuable. I, uh, I assume you are a... Um, uh, you're into the martial arts. I happen to know um, there's somebody uh, I uh, uh, took care of. I, I mean, I used to know uh, who had a pair of magical hand wraps that you'd really uh, that would really help you in in um, in kicking things, kicking things ass. And I'm telling you, those those woodcutters they keep complaining about this uh, this. Uh, wolf. They talk about it like it's some f- fucking god. It's like some <laughs> new new um, king of the forest. Not only is it a, a bigger than other wolves, but it's more cunning and even leaves traps like a hunter would. And that there's been a number of people who've been going missing lately. Mm. I need to shut up, get shut them all up. Need to make sure that there's a uh, because there's you know. We treat our workers well, you know, they get everything that they need. They get, a, a, you know, a bed of straw at night and they get fed. But they seem to have, are looking for excuses to go on strike. You see what I mean? Well, I certainly don't appreciate your insinuation that I'm a lowly mercenary of some sort. But if there are people who are being injured, I'd be interested in trying to help them. You say this wolf... Thing is setting traps? How is that possible? You tell me. 
you we need, I, I'm not gonna go over to the camps. You, I need someone to go out and ask some questions and you know get to the bottom of this. You know, either it's a bunch of tall tales, but you know what? It's been kind of I it's I've heard it from two camps now. I'm just tending to think it might be real, maybe exaggerated. But very, very they well. like to tell tall tales around the campfire. Uh, tell me this. So I don't know what's true. Two questions. First of all, mm. where is this camp? And second of all, I'm looking for a priest of Iomade. I don't suppose you would have heard of one in town by chance? Oh, yes, yes. There is that priest there. In Falcon's points Hall. down the street. Yes. And Kobe, this is the day before. You're going to not meet them yet. Okay, that's fine. I'm just... Yeah, yeah. I'm just being in character. Um, yeah. More more accurately, I suppose I should say a cleric. Not really looking for a blessing so much as hmm, someone who might be able to further instruct me in, well, the perfection of my mind and body. But that seems like something that might be a little above your payday, was it? Are you trying to insult me? Not at all. I would never. Um, where is this camp that you're? You're not a mercenary. Why would you do any work then, huh? If not for money, what for? Then, Women? Thank you, thank you for proving my point. Uh, where what can is, I give you? Where is this um, this camp that you're speaking of, and uh, these fist traps that you spoke of? Um. Well, let me tell you though. Y that lady over there pointing to the temple is trouble. And I need to know I have your word that you're actually going to do this for me. Because uh, she might put some, whisper some things in your mind to make you not trust me just because I work for Creed. Hmm. I don't know anything about this Creed fellow, but uh, mm. I'm not sure that I have any assurance to give you other than my word is my bond. Well, let me say this. Do a diplomacy check because you're convincing him that um, you care about the fate of the people and not getting killed by this large wolf if you want to convince him of your intentions. Okay. Well, he says, um, and did you just ask him a question? Um, I just, I was just wondering who, who this, um, this lady that he's talking about is. Oh, the, the cleric, that Lady Serdana? Lady Serdana? That's, she's the right. one that, um, anyway, she's going to preach some things to you, but if you want to get paid, you'll get that, um, get that wolf, get to the bottom of it, get its corpse, whatever needs to be done. And why would she want me to do otherwise? You know... That is a good question, but you can't trust her. She seems to always want to cross creed. Hmm. She wants to have unrest among uh, um, among the workers, even though they're well fed. And she'd love to for there to be a. Uh, she looks all nice on the outside, but she, there's nothing more than she uh, like more than to have one up on creed. Hmm. If you're asking me, you can't trust somebody. Somebody who smiles to your face like that all the time, can't trust them. Hmm. Um, well, very well. Uh, perhaps I'll speak with her on my way out of town just to judge for myself. Mm hmm. All right. Um, and Orion, make a another. <laughs> Uh, deception check this time, or stealth, either one. <laughs> Probably stealth. I don't know why. You could do it openly. I can. Oh, wow. Wow, he's out. Uh, 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 balls. Um, I'm, I'm looking for my skill check thing, my bub. I'm not uh, seeing it. Like top left Look your token. Oh, you don't have a token on this map? Uh, so maybe that's what's. From your character sheet, you can then click the thing that looks like an open hand. On ah, sheet, yes. And that's proficiencies. Cool. Mm -hmm. So you want deception? Oh yeah, and you can all um, you can always have an open window, you guys, of your character sheet, 
Yep. You uh, can pop on your it character and sheet, just have it on another monitor. At the top of your character sheet, there's pop out. You can have it as a separate window. You can pop back in if you want. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there is no sight of an orc a suspiciously, you know, looking at, <laughs> walking around town, skulking in the shadows. None Not of even your characters suspiciously, know. Suspiciously, like just for the sake of the, uh, you know, if this was a Netflix adaptation of, uh, you know, what we're talking about. Like, uh, Orion's just outside, like, probably just, like, whittling, like, a piece of, like, wood, just, like, looking into <laughs> the uh, building for which our small heroes and our clerical hero are inside while they're having that conversation. Okay. So, so just, I just to, sorry, just to clarify something, and maybe we might need to retcon this, um, uh, the, the, the cleric that, um, that my master sent me looking for was uh, Julved. I, and I'm just kind of ad libbing this here, but like. Oh, cool. And I think that there'd be no reasonable way for him to know Julved is there, and that's how good your master is, really. Yes, exactly. He's, yeah. He is a true, a true yeah. disciple. Absolutely, yeah. They, they just said it casually. It was just like, they just knew the future. That's right. Okay. So We're all on the path. When yeah, I assume it would be the next morning. Um, then well, later that day, I would probably mm -hmm. go shopping for camping stuff like tents and some fresher food to take, and uh, you okay, know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and okay. I, I rather than go through the minutia of it, can I just reduce my gold by one and say I've got that kind of stuff? Would that yes. be reasonable? Alrighty. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, Orion, no, not Orion, Ariana would have gone ahead um, to the camp and had a head start. Okay. And after get, getting your shopping done, uh, you can proceed out on the next morning. Uh, All right. If we're tracking these things, uh, you can subtract three silver for a night's stay, I believe. No, one, one, one silver. <laughs> cool. I have two silver left in my pocket. Let's go. <laughs> um, I what if I just poor. sleep in my house? You have a house, yes. What if I just sleep like? I don't but know. you have to pay for the mortgage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what if he paid off the mortgage? He's a very old gnome. Okay, he put what like a thirty-year mortgage. He's been living here for a while. Like maybe there's he had the to it. Uh, yeah, does the yeah. church yeah. tax me for being in there if I'm literally helping them by being a healer? Uh, I uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I think donate the, them the, the silver church as will a not tax you. I, no, I'm, I'm going to donate the silver out of respect. I'm Can just I have a, a big deal about it? A, a campsite like outside of town that I sleep in. Okay, and I'll take that as a yes. I believe so. And Austin, wouldn't you go after your uh, mark away from civilization? Am I wrong? Sorry, say that again. Would you go after your whoever you're hunting out when they get out of a, a town? I mean, that's probably when I would make my move. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pro I'm so probably I'm probably camped out on the road to this campsite. That's... All right, but your the person you're looking for is in a group. How, how do you think this is going to happen? Um, you know, probably pretty messy, which uh, you know I <laughs> I don't want. I mean, this is uh -huh. just a job. This is just a job for uh, you know Orion, but uh, yeah, so he's he's just camped out. Maybe, maybe either he'll underestimate the group, or maybe try to draw that gnome away <laughs> that gnome away from the group um i'll I say know. now i do Marking is my i favorite. said i didn't have a weapon earlier but i do actually have a weapon but i keep it hidden um okay so that could be a perception check to see if you okay. spot it or not all right i'm going to ask um there's not i mean we're not, we're, I wouldn't run a combat right now. Yeah, but I, I, do I have want noticed, to... I don't know if it comes up, but if there is like stealth going on, I'm supposed to have like a bonus on that for being a halfling or something. Noticing hidden people. 
when you actively seek, I believe. Ah, uh, when I actively seek. Okay. okay. Um, uh, I, I will. When also you're not just... in an encounter in Pathfinder, you are in exploration mode, and so if you're in the middle of a dungeon, let's say, uh, everyone can be concentrating on one activity. One person can be searching for hidden things, such as secret doors, traps, hiding monsters. Someone or else could be are scouting. Or in the shadows, you know, spying on their mark. Okay. Yep. Someone can be scouting uh, so that if an encounter starts, that gives everyone in the party plus one circumstance bonus to initiative. Someone else could be using their knowledge and recalling knowledge about their surroundings. Um, there's many things you can th think of, but it tends to be one thing. You can't yeah. both be skulking about in the, you know, among the walls and focused on searching for traps now I've got some because it's of the amount of concentration things. that's called for. And uh, if you're stealthing around, that becomes your initiative score, your initiative bonus when an initiative, when encounter begins. You can also be doing a spell that you can repeat over and over again, like detect magic. Or my so, favorite. Uh -huh. What? Shield. Yes, you can also be defending yourself against danger, walking around with your shield in I front of you. I don't think Zappy's doing that. What <laughs> Zappy is spending right, his so, actions on outside of combat is singing. He is singing. And so skipping. Wholesome. And skipping. So let's say, at least for now, in this, you know, period of his character development, he's carefree. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go down the list. What, uh, what would Orion like to do? Oh, wait, Orion is hiding at the moment, I assume. Uh, so this is he's after the conversation the they had. This is just downtime between them uh leaving yeah. for this camp you, so he's, he's yeah, probably you're following the party right, right right so but he heard this whole conversation and he probably knows the way to the camp that they have to get to so he's probably set up camp along the road to there he's gonna you know mm -hmm. we'll have to as uh they say in dungeon world play to find out what happens but um so he's, he's probably just hanging out in his camp you know maybe eating some jerky or something like um, All right. Is it out in the open? Uh, this is the plains, isn't it? I'm, I'm looking at the map right now, and this terrain is, it's like open fields? Pretty much, but there's tall, tall grasses. Uh, he's, yes, I mean, he's definitely like off the road a little bit, probably okay. in the tall grasses, this tent, and, uh, okay. you know, at night. Probably stargazes, knows all the constellations. Okay. And what is he holding in his hand in play times of relative danger? In times of relative danger? Uh, like, as in, what are his weapons? Mm, I won't ask that yet. Never mind. But when you're in ambush, I assume you'll have your axes out. Oh, 100%. Okay. Ariana, what would you be uh, doing in... Uh, focusing on when the group is traveling on a road um i would say just kind of scouting um unless somebody else wants to fill that role that's kind of what i imagine mm -hmm. okay looking out for the group yeah Jolved is defending with his shield uh i'm not actually going to be defending i'm going to be looking out into the bushes trying to seek <laughs> You are you're searching for I'm da searching for danger. if there's possible ambushes happening. Because I know that uh Wow. You got, why are you guys so scared? I am worried <laughs> about kobolds attacking. Because I know kobolds like to also hide in these bushes and jump out travelers. Yeah. If, if they right. do, kobolds. everything will be I'm okay. Not worried about orcs. orcs are weird. Okay. Orcs aren't around here. There's no orcs. We've got Ariana Ever. looking out for us. We'll be good. Wait, am I okay. are we traveling together? I don't know. Currently? Oh, wait. Out, okay. No, I, 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 I told you. Camp, mental right? shortcut. There was something mental about shortcut. you scouting for us. So. I, I, I thought it was a yeah, general yeah. question, like, in the future when you're doing things. 
You are correct, Kobe. I am taking mental shortcuts. You are not with the group yet. No so it's just Jelvid who's searching oh, Philzo. Silly goose. Um, I think Philzo is going to be investigating the investigate exploration activity. So it's not looking okay. for things that are hidden necessarily. I don't really understand the difference. I, I should have just like yeah, yeah, yeah. DM'd you privately, I'm, Ronald. Jesus I'm, Christ. I'll find a second. It's just all perception. Everything He's is perception. Metagamers. No, nah, so there's there's, I think in, there's medi- also an well, investigate exploration yes. activity, which is kind of well, you I, automatically recalling knowledge. I am not using metagame knowledge of I know something's sneaking up on us. It's just this is what he'd be doing. Okay. All right. So the uh, I I think uh, the way this would work out is uh, I'll just um, have Austin do a stealth or survival check uh, to come up with a good ambush uh, and i'll give him a plus two bonus for cover oh let's go okay so skills uh i'm gonna go i'm just i just accused sean of metagaming but actually plus metagame. plus plus two yeah cool Best two. and i'll do it publicly no shame Uh, okay well i think it's safe to say that uh there are some telltale signs of uh, that someone uh walked through the nearby tall grasses as you approach oh um hello hello (laughs) hello are you okay I have my holy symbol off the belt and a fist raised. If you're if lost in the grass, the road's over here. Have they seen me yet? They, they've seen tracks of me. No, they no, they just me? saw uh, evidence. Okay. That's all. I'm guessing, uh, I don't know if you consider this backseat DMing, Ronald. I'm guessing they probably saw, like, I probably did a shitty job covering my tracks into yes. the bush. Yeah. That would be it. So they saw the trail. Um, I think Philzo is going to if there's still tall grass around, I think Philzo is going to try and hide. Okay. Just just not 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 like I'm like just going to full disappear, but just like yeah, yeah. if there is someone around, I'm just like crouching down because it doesn't just take much to the get tracks into the into the grass. Excuse me, are you okay? All right. I am uh, happy. From Dom, I need a stealth check. Immediately after. Yes. Um and now I, I would actually be actively on the thing, Please right? fail epically. This could be so funny if you fail epically. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Yes, he also got the plus two from cover. Oh, oh eight is, versus uh, his perception DC of 16. <laughs> so you know you where he is. Three? He is hidden to you, which is an in-between state. He knows where this halfling, no, gnome is, um, you, but does not he, observe him. Do you mean me? Yes. Okay. Can, you know that can, he. Uh, can I propose something he, he for the separated. sake of, for I'm, the, sake of the ha-has? For, for the sake of the lols and the storytelling, can I suggest something that happens? Sure. Sorry, this is my rules light coming out. Uh, when he goes to back up into the tall grass to like hide, could he back up and he literally backs into Orion? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm going and I'm going. Zappy, Zappy, get back here, Zappy. Oh, oh. I think somebody's lost. <laughs> and, 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 and all of a sudden you're backing grass. up. You're backing Where's up and road? you just like bump into you know this like. Uh huh. And What's up, uh-huh. kitty? What do you look like, um, Austin? So, how tall? How tall are orcs in Galerion? Uh, they can taller be than humans, like up or seven feet tall, seven feet plus. Like, okay, so they, yeah, they you back in, you you back into uh. So Orion's probably like, uh, yeah, there he is. That's my Dolly portrait of him. Um, he's probably like six foot nine for the memes. Um, Damn, and like a pretty like. Like relatively lean for an orc, but he's still just fucking jacked because orcs are jacked. Um, and yeah, he wears like uh, leather armor, has like a big bushy beard that Dolly didn't properly uh, 
you know, fill out. Like it's bushier and scragglier than that. Like this dude's crunchy as hell. Um, you know, if he was a real life person, he'd probably live in Colorado. Um, and <laughs> he's in like his early thirties. I love Colorado, by the way. He's in like his early thirties. Um, and uh, like looks like very, you know, like he's got like scars like all over like his arms and like face and uh, stuff like that. And yeah. And looks um, very gruff. Okay, what do you guys do? Jolvin, Zappy. So you, and Zappy is when, like when you bump into him, you? when you bump into him, you hear and you I'm hear this voice behind the grass you. Now. Uh Where's you hear that since we established that happened, you hear this voice behind you that goes, Well, that was easy. And can I grapple him? Uh yes, you can. Almost and we get to learn the grapple can, rules yeah. in a in a unique context, sure. You just do oh, an athletics sure check. The grapple rules all athletics long. check? Okay. <laughs> So my fort my fortitude DC is fifteen. So that's okay. the number you've got to beat. Yes. Meet or beat um, fifteen. He just has to beat the the fortitude DC, which is the fortitude bonus plus ten. Okay, so fifteen. Public roll. Plus seven. Ooh, oh, twenty four. <laughs> almost a crit oh, success. Not a crit. Almost a crit, a crit success. I'm gonna so make it public. Close. All right. Uh, if it were oh, one more, he would have restrained him, which would mean that he could only he wouldn't be able to do anything but try to escape. Basically, mm. uh, I'm I'm just leaving it to, to you two to I'm see so what happens. Now yeah. So Orion uh, Orion like grabs you and just goes, um, uh, <laughs> "What's your What's your last name? Sorry, um, Norming with a G." Oh, he goes. Are you Philzo Norming? No. That's a nice try there, bud. Listen, uh, my employer just really wants you taken in. So I appreciate you making this easy. Uh, let's do this clean, shall we? I am going to athletic rush, which <laughs> lets me just like charge over the super far distance and then get a bonus to try and shove him away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and I will be running in that direction because I heard I heard uh, Mr. Norman for calling for me. So I'm running as fast uh -huh. as I can, but I, I'm probably stuck in the in the grass somewhere. You're not going to beat the uh, athletic rushing. Yeah, we can we can talk about this. Only we can 16. talk about I don't think this. That's good enough. All right, uh, the Rangers Fortitude DC is 16. Oh wow! Huh. Phil's yeah. just going, we can talk about this, we can talk about this, and then Jolva just comes seem... in. Boom. <laughs> and then Wait, I am going to try to me. and... Oh yeah, it's based on this constitution. Based yeah. on constitution. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, I'm go then going to try and grapple him. Wait, so since, you, wait, <laughs> since you rolled a uh, 16, does that mean you succeed on whatever it was that you were trying to do? Yeah, since I shoved you back five DC. feet. Okay, cool. Do I still... Yeah have a hold on I, Philzo? Um, if this was I'm going to say, I'm not really going still, completely yeah. rules as written here. Um, you kind of are losing your grip, but I, I would rather you guys should just tell the story you want to tell or figure it out. How rules? I think Philzo goes flying into the distance. There you go. You think you get, like, I lose my grip and I mean, he goes flying into the distance? I mean, this is intra-party. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to... I don't yeah, feel you know, I, I go should back, be I land having in the my rules house. determine what happened. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I No, I, I go flying into the distance. I land in my house on my bed, so no fall damage. And yeah, I'm of good. course. Yeah, the adventure's yeah. over. Um, All right. I, I would say at this point, Orion, you feel something on your ankle and look down and there's like two <laughs> arms. Please, sir. Please don't hurt. Don't hurt Mr. Normie. Please. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm like trying to go for the oh, 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 Orion looks like, Orion oh, looks oh, oh. down at uh, the little halfling crying at his feet and goes, "Look, bud, I've got to I got to take him back to my employer. Like, I really don't care. I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm just trying to collect a paycheck here, you know." But but, but what's your employer gonna do to him? I don't know. I don't care. But, who can I ask who your employer please. is? Because how, I mean, how much is he paying you? Uh, Ronald, you tell me. Ten gold. He's, uh, yeah. ten gold. Ten gold I dead can, or alive. I can make an omelet worth at least eleven gold. 
And this job has something that none of us are interested in. As our payment, if you join us instead. Listen here, bud. I I'll love omelets, but... Silver. I'm sorry, what? Or, wait, sorry. I'm sorry, what? A weapon made of pure silver. A weapon made of pure silver? Bud, I don't really care. Well... That's not a, a a Look, here's, here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing, bud. You sold the wrong drugs to a very wealthy person in what would be like the big city in Andoran? Mm, I should find uh, out. Kaz, Kazmoran. You sold some very no, potent stuff. Never mind. Uh, but he's very not... sorry. You, you sold some very I... potent stuff to some very wealthy people in Almas. And, uh, well, their kid, uh, the kid OD'd and died. They're not happy, and they want me to take you in, bud. Well, I, all of my products come with a disclaimer. <laughs> oh, so because they signed a waiver, you think that makes it okay? Well, it means that they agree to the risks. Um, you can kind of see, like, some of the color is coming back to Filzo's hair right now. Um... <laughs> Um, listen, we, we can make a deal, uh, they're paying you, which means that that's the reason you're doing this, so, I mean, we have a need, we need someone to help us guide us through the woods, and you have a need for money, and, well, I mean, I can see you have quite a nice pointy axe there, the silver weapon would, you know, be worth quite a bit, you could maybe... You buy a nice axe. Um, I, uh, what, what, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you want from me that I can give you, but we can work something out. For some reason, when you said that the color was returning, I was expecting you to say, punch me in the face again. You're fixing my punching. <laughs> <laughs> just, just punch me here's as hard as you can. Here's, here's a question <laughs> for Ronald. Uh -huh. What, what would a silvered weapon be worth roughly in in this world and uh, would that be common knowledge i th i'm gonna say 20 gold is ballpark but i'm gonna look it up I, I remember it being like about the same thing as a plus one weapon so while ronald looks that up uh orion's gonna say well i mean i could just tell my employer that i killed you if uh how do you feel uh, about losing a finger pieces. or toe you know, I help you out. You give me something that could, you know, indicate to these people that I killed you. We both win. I don't kill you. I've had my toes for a very long time. I don't want to part with them just yet. But listen, if if you hurt my friend, I'm going to have to use powerful magic against you. <laughs> Please listen here, bud. To him. I don't nuts. care enough to hurt your friend I don't want to have here. to turn you into a toad. Turn me into a toad. Can you, so regrow, can, can you regrow one of his ears? No, I'm not a healer. Be this right weapon we're going to get go on, to go pay on. bills for if a year. An ear, I, and then I'm going to just look down to the gnome. I say, if it gets us a companion. I mean, we need a guide. We, we <laughs> never found someone. Dumb your fucking face. Oh, Jesus. Please. <laughs> well, okay. We have a gentleman's agreement. And he uh, hawks a fat loogie in his hand. He releases He releases you, hawks a fat loogie in his hand, and uh, outstretches it. Oh my! Um, I I reciprocate. I it's the most meager, dried up piece of spit you've ever seen um, that just dribbles into his hand, and then and then he like limply shakes. Well, all right, we have a deal. So uh, you said you needed a guide. We're heading into the docks so and they... woods. So there was an agreement. Uh, yeah, so if I uh, heard Sean correctly, uh, I get to cut off Filzo's ear, but Sean's going to no. do it. 
No, no, you uh, don't. <laughs> no. I'm just going to tell my employer that I killed him. Um, maybe they'll take some hair. Who knows? But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, um, we, we can, whoa, 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 we can wait. I'm, I'm the GM I and a lawyer. What was the contract? <laughs> I helped Pound them of out flesh. in in, yeah. <laughs> in, uh, in the the in exchange for me being a guide and assisting them on their quest. Uh, I get a piece of Filzo that I can use as proof that I killed him, and and a silver weapon worth forty gold, and a silver weapon worth forty. 40 and gold. okay, gotcha. Interesting. This gets spicy. That's a good, that's a good deal. Great deal. All right, so I think we're heading to the camp, which um uh. The, you see that there's a, a ramshackle improvised sign made of wood and the words good camp are carved into it and it's crossed out and painted in bright white letters is the word better. And <laughs> the, you see a woman, a half elven woman, um, who seems to be having some difficulty talking to uh, a group of woodcutters who are drinking, uh, drinking beer. <laughs> Uh, oh, at, at the moment they're they're they're, they're telling you um they're they're suspicious ariana they they think that uh you you, you look like you smell like that um ioma day lady <sighs> if she smells of lilacs and morning dew then more power to her but listen <laughs> I'm sorry what I said about the swill that you're drinking and uh, how much better my honeyed mead is from my monastery, but all I need to know is where is this wolf creature that's setting traps for people? Are people really disappearing from this camp? I'm here to help you. Well, there are some people give tall tales around the campfire, they say. Um, person you want to talk to is Jarlbin. Jarlbin Truckshavitz. That's Jal the man. Jarlbin. Everyone. Yeah, he's the guy in charge of this camp. Excuse he's, me uh, while I take notes on my futuristic mechanical keyboard. <laughs> There's people who say they encountered this. Uh, some call it the Grey Master. Others call it um, Nighthawk. Everyone's got a different name for this thing. <laughs> Now, is it a wolf? Wolf? If so, I'm confused on how it's setting traps for people. This makes no sense to me. Yeah, it's got little hands just like you and me. <laughs> so it's perhaps more of a werewolf then. Would I know what a werewolf uh, is? Oh, I don't. <laughs> um, they, they, oh, not a were Could be a werewolf. You Some know, sort of that, lichen. That may be true, they say, looking at each other. Hmm. But that would make a little more sense then. Uh, where can I find this job in? Well, uh, they, they point you to um, one of the few um, permanent looking shacks in, in, the, in this camp. And it's a it's a it's actually a log building. And there's um, also a meal hall here uh, that you are standing outside of and numerous outhouses. And uh, they point you there. OK. I'll head over there. Thank you for the information. Um, enjoy your gutter water. And so <laughs> walk off. Oh boy, gutter All right. water. And you see a full <laughs> office with um, an orc, gnome, cleric, and halfling all talking to and a man. You would notice that this cleric on his hip has the holy symbol of Arori right there. Hmm. Okay. She'll just look and kind of mutter to herself, Ah, Silvestre, I should have known you'd point me in the right direction, even if it was uh, in a very roundabout way to get there. Excuse me. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm looking for Jalbin. I assume he's around here somewhere. Do I know right where Jalbin is? Yeah, Jarlbin's there talking to uh, someone else at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yep, yeah, just a sec, just a sec. And I go and I, I pull on his, his shirt. Excuse so me. He looks at you annoyed. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something. Can't you see? I'm filling out a work order. 
this lady would like to speak with you. Get in line. Oh, okay. <laughs> he says to get in line. Where is the back of the queue? <laughs> I think it's just behind me. If you just line up. <laughs> she'll, she'll, yeah, she will. Um, All right. Well, to the rest of the party, you've been and, told and I will that. Offer uh, my hand. I'm Zappy. Uh, nice to meet you, Zappy. My name's Ariana. Hi, Miss um, Ariana. Uh, if you don't mind, and she'll kind of look uh, at. Um, sorry, I almost said Sean, but I want to use yeah. character names, and I need to uh, get Joel character Fred. names. Jolved. She'll. Um, yeah, she'll look at Jolved and say. I couldn't help but notice uh, you seem to be a priest or a cleric of some sort of of uh, of my goddess whose name uh, escapes me at the moment um, of 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 Arori. Arori. Is that is that accurate? Well, I'd say so. Been given clerical powers. Hmm. Not quite sure if I've earned them yet, though. Well. Um, my name is Ariana, and my master, Silvestre, is uh, a follower of Arori. I've been studying um, notes, 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 uh, <laughs> the unbinding of fetters uh, for several years. And, well, he thought it was time that I leave the monastery and, and start putting into practice what I've been trying to learn about self-perfection. He said that I'd find a cleric of Irori here near Falcon's Hollow. I don't suppose you know him, regardless of whether you do or not. It wouldn't surprise me to, to find you here anyway. Um, I'd love to learn from you if you have anything to teach me, or perhaps um, School of Hard Knocks might be sufficient, as it were. Well, you could join our party! Well... Does 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 the halfling speak for for all of you and and no, whatever no, no. are I, you? I'm making a suggestion. And 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 what is your quest, if I might ask? Well, let me remind the party. It is our party, the party that uh, you were told that Barlas. You were asking about for Barlas and told that this man Jarlbin will uh, is the most likely a person to know. We're, we're collecting some reagents for the town herbalists. There is some kind of affliction that is affecting the camp. We're also looking for someone that's gone missing that was meddling with the company town. At uh, the hmm. town company. Um, what what was your name again? My um, name is Philzo. Well met, Philzo. Uh, fi- sorry, Phil. Phil can you say that again? You sort of. Philzo, it's you, a very common. Sort of mumbling name. there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I um, I don't quite have all the motor functions I used to, but that's okay. I get by. Mm. Philzo, uh, I noticed that uh, some color returned to you when I grabbed you. You want me to grab you again? Maybe it'll, uh, you know, keep you a little bit more spry for your introduction Don't here. touch me. Okay. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you, Philzo. Um, uh, my name is Ariana. Ariana Dorathlon. Um, and you're, you're an Iroran, then? Well, I aspire to be one, I suppose you would say. An acolyte of sorts, perhaps. Um and- you're not from around here, are you? No, I'm from Springdale. What was the name of the town that I was from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not I from Springdale. Well. Springdale, it's canon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm f- I'm from a monastery near Springdale. Um, I've been traveling for quite some time, looking for, well, I believe this man pointing to Jolved. Um, but Hello, along the just... way, I seem to have been uh, tasked with uh, f- speaking to this man, Jarbin, about uh, some sort of monster in the woods who seems to be abducting people. Perhaps oh, our... That's perhaps, a picture. Right. Um, I like this one, by the way. Um, perhaps our... Uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Um, Augustana is the name of the town. Augustana. 
is where yeah, I'm. Really is that's where I'm from. Let's say that. Yep. It's okay, August. Oh, that. That's much more difficult to remember. I better write that down. Oh no. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Springdale? <laughs> it's okay. We already established. Oh no, no, this down river. How about this one, Oregon? Oregon. Okay. You're from Oregon. <laughs> from, um, like, so yeah, Philzo is just like beer. mirthlessly like staring at you. Like it feels like he's not looking at your face. It looks like he's looking mm-hmm. at the inside of the back of your head. Mm-hmm. Um, just as you're talking. Um, right. It seems like our, our paths have crossed for good reason, friends. Uh, mm-hmm. I have a feeling if you're looking for someone missing and I'm looking for something that's causing missing persons, well, perhaps we our can paths help align. each other. <laughs> right. Um, all right, I'm ready now, says Jarlbin. He's a gruff man with an unruly red beard. What a, got the circus good. coming? I didn't ask for a circus. <laughs> <laughs> and upon to... hearing these comments, uh, Orion gets in this dude's face and just goes, watch what you're saying there, bud. Oh, you got a tough one here. You want to chop can some wood? Huh? Which... Can, I, can I roll intimidation? Um, can I do that? The moment's passed. Sure. Oh, I can? Uh, well, all it would have in game effect terms literally is just give him the frightened one condition. It might just, it's not going to do much. Like, uh, you could, if you're somebody. talking just pure game terms, he could be coercing him. Yeah. That takes a minute of conversation. What does the peanut gallery <laughs> think I should do? <laughs> and by the peanut gallery, I mean my fellow party members. Yeah, get in his face, man. Yeah, we, no, totally. Yeah, yeah, um, just said like a uh, real racist comment. Fucking, yeah. Fuck them yeah. up. Yeah, you know what? Orion doesn't take that shit, bro. Okay, uh, then. All right. Oh, all right. He's, he, he climbs down. He's not escalating things, but that is a different tone for him now. He's now saying, well, how can I help you? Oh, no, I was just telling you to be more respectful of me and my pals here. <laughs> he's ignoring that. He's just uh, climbing down. He's not going to insult you anymore. I am going to accept that he is now simmered down and say, well, we're looking for a few things. One. Okay. All right. So he says that, huh, I'll just go jump ahead if you don't mind. Yep. Um, Barless. Yeah, there's a Barless who came by here. I told him he, uh, he, uh, he, he wanted, he thought we were some kind of inn of some kind. Like we're a fancy hotel. Told him he had to, uh, you know, join our bracing outdoor exercise, if you know what I mean. He wasn't willing, Namby Pamby. I told him to go sleep with old Liz Miller. Go in the woods if you wanted to have a, a safe place to stay. He looks stupid enough to believe me. You weren't lying. Were you lying? <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Oh, oh, he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> understand us woodcutters. We have senses of humor. Hmm. He said, oh, OK, then and he walked in that direction, which happens to look like the same uh, general direction as the Hag Haunted Hollow. Jovid <laughs> is absolutely the type of person who would like slash your tires and be like, it's just a prank, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if you are the only one laughing, it doesn't sound like a very good joke especially if one of oh no i wasn't the only one there were a lot of people laughing at him (laughs) Hmm. well i I, uh yes you may call me ari okay miss ari i i the way he was pointing we know what's in that direction there's Uh, there's a a hollow a hag hollow and a dead hag hag hollow sounds like a lovely place perhaps not someone i'd like to build a summer home uh but perhaps a place for person abducting monsters to hide out right it's also where my mushrooms are supposed to be Ooh, i love mushrooms are they edible i don't know I, they're prefer they're for medicine can i do a crafting check on if those mushrooms are edible um you'll be a recall knowledge that i roll uh, yeah, I got There's a sick people, people and it's gonna help them. All right, you believe that I notice I use the word you believe because there's yeah. a possibility he critically failed 
and is being given false information by the GM. Nah. No, Phil. Okay. Right. Never you happened. Nah. Well, Let's regardless of, of whether... Regardless of whether they're edible or not, if they're to help those in need, then by all means, we ought to gather some, no? Yeah. yeah so. For eating yeah. mushrooms, Who I knows so. regular mushrooms. Who knows what that grumpy old ha- uh, gnome, I keep wanting to say halfling, is thinking. But you know that they could be eaten. They do do weird things to the mind. They're kind of like hallucinogenic. and that Good on pizza. That is why they're so useful I mean, as ingredients, because they can Ariana's interact from with other Oregon. things. You know, should be. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally a monk that's all about the journey rather than the destination. So hallucinogenic mushrooms sound right up my alley. Even though I may, I may come across like, uh, like I have a personality of Mary Poppins. Uh, I'm more into that kind of thing than you'd expect. Austin, I think you're taking everyone on a tour of the map. Oh, I just (laughs) uh, whenever I have Foundry up, I just casually click and drag. Okay, sorry, but. Um, you, you, you do uh, believe it is true that it has a number of healing properties, uh, strong healing properties and prevention properties. I've not tried this particular breed of mushroom, but I've heard fantastic things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, drugs are a sub subcategory of poisons. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pathfinder. And it is anathema to become addicted to a substance if you're a follower of Irori. Just letting you know. Okay, you get good addicted, to know. You break your faith. My current batch of... Then in that case, I'm not as into hallucinogenic mushrooms as I previously stated. That was my youth. Okay. I yes. would like to just state that my current batch of alchemical merchandise has all addictive properties removed. <laughs> Well, um, uh, Jarl, what was his name? Jarbin. Um, could you point us in the direction of, well, actually, wait, before we uh, go any further. Um, I've been sent here to look for uh, some sort of wolf creature that's apparently abducting people. I don't suppose you could tell me more about that. His eyes widen and his look turns dark. He, uh, his demeanor changes instantly, and hmm, let me see. He says, "So Payday is finally sending someone to help." Yes, that's the um, pug-nosed-looking fellow who. Looked a little bit seedy and dirty, and like maybe he works for a mobster. And with you insulting, yes, you'll never want to say that to his face, though. He says, "Joel, that is going to cock an eyebrow at you." Okay. Well, the rumors are true. I'm afraid some workers have gone missing over the past few months, or been wounded by traps in the woods. First, we thought it was some kind of sadistic talented hunter but just four days ago i personally saw one of my men here walk into a hidden trench and impale his foot on the spike only for this uh, and then this wolf the biggest meanest looking one you'd ever seen burst out of the bushes grabbed him by the back of his neck and raced off the man was yelling Still hear it in the middle of the night. Maybe he's still okay. <laughs> Seems unlikely. You, know, you can always get lucky. You are a very optimistic one, little one. Not all of no, us have he... have the luck of the halflings. Well, we should heard... assume the worst. What I find is usually when things look bad, they always seem to work out okay in the end. Ugh. Well, I heard those yells and cries of terror end suddenly. The thing clearly mauled him. Hmm. Whatever screaming he was doing turned into a gurgle. And that, does, that does make it less likely he's alive. There's in only what, a chance, though. In, in what direction know. was he carried off? Well, um... Perhaps you could point us to um, the area and we might be able to pick up the trail. 
Well, he was uh, north of the river, and it was in the direction of the, the volcano. So not towards the um, Hag's Hollow, then? The other side of the river, the far side of that lake, let's say. So I he see. was around here. And it was... I'm going to do a little drawing. Ooh. I love that you can see And look, there's like a little dot there. on the map that I couldn't remove when I was looking for, for maps. Um, wow. Is that, and, is that Austin going straight to it? I don't know what you're talking okay. about. And show me, um, where was Hag's Hollow? Can you remind me? Oh, there it is. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, perhaps if... And then she just kind of turns to everybody else and says, I, I propose that we set off towards Hag's Hollow, see if we can't recover this missing person that you're after, as well as some mushrooms, and then... Perhaps if you wouldn't mind, in exchange for my own assistance, helping me see what we can do about this wolf creature? I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'll do my best. Well, Zappy <laughs> likes you, so I'm okay with it. I'm just here All helping right, these guys out. Always, well, things well. always work out. We were just By the way, I never introduced a myself just a day ago, and now we've got a new friend. My name's Orion, by the way, and he goes, whoop, and, you know, fat loogie in the hand as he outstretches it to Ariana. Hmm. What would Ariana do in this situation? She's a little, she, I'm, I'm finding, I'm, I'm discovering that she's a, a little bit uh, prim and proper. Um, You're discovering uh, this. Yeah, oh yeah, I told you, I'm, I'm flying <laughs> by the seat of my pants here. That's the way. That's um, the way to do it, though, for sure. I, that's what yeah. I got the moment you started talking. Bill's <laughs> <laughs> always staring well, so I, intently. Someone who talks like they're a member of the royal family can't be. <laughs> well, I, I think, I any think any, any, any people that are that, actually that, from that, England that, watching are going to be rolling their eyes at my terrible this, accent. And he he reaches in and gets his his water skin, and goes up to to Orion, <laughs> puts some water on, and then wipes it with a cloth and says, "You made a mess." <laughs> <laughs> and, and immediately after, Ariana will will take his hand and and kind of look at down at Zappy and give him a wink and be like, "Thank you." Orion just looks a little bit offended by all this, but <laughs> he like looks at Zappy just like, "How could you?" <laughs> Zappy does not look like he understands what you're upset about, but he he seems horrified that you might be upset at him. And, and, and he feels that it's just observing. Back, just kind of wipes just wipes his hand on on his like on like cloak or something like that because this actually is a thing that he will need to bring up later okay this okay so i looking forward to learning this is the camp that you guys are at and it's gonna be it's about 12 noon and it's gonna in involve mm, looking at the scale Ryan does a pump fake on Philzo to see if any more color gets returned to his temples. I don't know what a pump fake is. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's like the classic thing that you American see like football. bullies do in like high school movies. Yeah, yeah. Does I any color come back? Fourteen hours travel. No. He goes. Oh, sorry about uh, scaring you there, bud. I just wanted to see what would happen. I think we can make it in twelve. You're weird. <laughs> Yeah, well, that would get us there in the middle of the night. Perhaps we ought to travel for a bit and set up camp? Yeah, I've got camping equipment. I bought a whole bunch before I left town. Lucky thing. Thank you, Zachary. Okay. I can help carry some All right. Out. Anything before you head out? Uh, I have something I'd like to talk about on the travel duration Ooh. when we're outside of town. Not hearing any. I assume you'll start traveling. Uh, I'd like to yeah. have your marching order. Assume that the the P is the front of the party. Okay. So in that direction, just okay. move your tokens as you would be Going walking north. together. Maybe have the ranger scouting ahead. What a swell idea. Okay. So, um... Well, I don't want to be right in the back. Yeah, I, I want to be second from the back. 
Um, I, I, I'd, I'd suggest maybe Julved and then me. Does that work? Uh, Although if Orion yep. is up Let's front, then that, then our then our back ranks are looking real. Okay, I'll I'll bring up the rear. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the wrangler. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, if you need to get up yeah, quickly, you'll, now I'm you'll going to be off to the side, so that way I can just like. Because I want to be near oh, Ariat on a further thing that I want to talk about. Because, uh. Mm-hmm. Sorry, in trouble. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. Wait. Zappy's ended up, like, on the front line now, so <laughs> let's. 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 Well, the thing is, I'm planning on running forward if something happens. I'm kind of, like, yeah, near the okay. middle. Because I'm, like. Yeah, you can be beside me. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Okay, and I while exploring, I, I, this is what I had from before. Orion is hiding, kind of being stealthy. Ariana is scouting. Jelved is searching. Philzo mm-hmm. is investigating. And Zappy is skipping. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. I feel like I wouldn't be hiding. If you need an acrobatics I'm check, exploring. let me know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to ambush them anymore. I am trying to scout ahead. I'm pulling up archives of Nethys, but what would be the appropriate? It would like... be uh, navigating, I think. Sure. Oh yeah, navigating. Yes, yeah. actually, that is absolutely correct. That's I should call for a survival check. Shit, we could have got away what? with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is another secret check, right? Because if we crit fail, we go the wrong way. Yes. Here, I check. was thinking that you know I was a silly goose, or that. Uh, um, whatever. Fuck it. The joke sucked. The joke fell flat. I lost it. Uh, this is blind GM roll, right? Yep. Yeah. Roll blind. All right. Rolling blind. Ooh, a mystery. Apologies right, in the advance stars, if the I roll poopy. Of the sun, traits of the geography of flora. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the sun is up and it is heating up. Yeah, it's getting all uh, we'll hot and spicy down there in once Perth. A day. Okay. It's okay. In... Wait, are you still activity. In... Are you still in Perth, or did you move back east? No, I'm still in Perth. Still in Perth? Yeah. Yeah? Still eating rocks in the great WA. Let's go, mate. That's bloody brilliant. Okay. Um. Well, you are... Were you going to be skirting the woods for a while? Like going like uh, yeah, um, I, I, I'm, I think uh, Zappy wants to go right into them. <laughs> That's where <laughs> the adventure is. We, we should stick to the roads. But once we, well, once we enter the woods, then he's going to start looking around because he's ready. Well, here's the thing, guys. I can get you there regardless of how we go, but... Uh... You know, you're my clientele. Uh, I want to make sure you have a comfortable experience <laughs> on the way. Please rate me five stars on the app. Okay, that last sentence was out of character. Uh, so, what you know, if, if you prefer, I think that, you know, not everyone's equipped to just go through spooky woods like that. But Those I also don't though. think we, I don't think we need to go on the roads, you know. What do you think we should do then? All right, Mr. Orion? <laughs> uh, uh, you are out navigating. Out of character. Uh, well, I guess would I have to roll for that to see if I would know which way would be the fastest way to get there? Ronald, like a survival check. Uh, that'd be a recall knowledge that I would roll secretly. <laughs> recall like, knowledge that you roll secretly. Fastest or safe or best? What are you asking? That I roll. What secretly. does what does my party want? Do you want I've... fastest or safest? Fastest. We're not on any kind of time limit. Oh, uh, yeah, we got people that are sick that we need that need medicine. So fastest. Yeah, also, you bleach and, fast. Fast. Right. and more fast. adventure. The bleaching is something that's going to happen over the next like thirty. Right, fastest years. is to skirt the woods so that you're not um, slowed down by the undergrowth, and then to go direct north when you at this camp. So in my expert knowledge, based on my expert knowledge of this terrain that I have, of course, been in before. I think the best move here would be to skirt the woods so that we don't get caught up in the undergrowth. And then when we get roughly about south of uh, where we're going, then we dive right in 
and go north. Is that okay for okay. everyone? You're the navigator. I guess I am. All right. All right. So it is uh, the sun, sun's starting to set. It's like six, seven hours. Um, and actually, oh, there's a the world clock um, when you get to the next camp. And people are already singing and, songs. And on the way, I would have had my conversation with Ariana. Because I'm going to. What is that conversation, Sean? Tell us. Because I'm going to ask. So, what did they teach you of the edicts of Irori? Well, um. Specifically, do you remember the first edict? Let's see. Let me think about this. On your like, character sheet? Um, yeah. On your, like, main character page, the ID card, this one on the top right for deity. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and select Irori there, and then edit yeah. it, and then that goes with edicts. Yeah, I, I've done that. Let's see. Um, if I remember, be humble. Help others perfect themselves. Hone your body, mind, and spirit to a more perfect state, and practice discipline. Yes, and... How do you view the man that was talking to us in the cabin? Hmm. He made me uncomfortable. Um, he <sighs> approached me as though I were a common mercenary, and that but upset me. Why does that upset you? Hmm. I suppose because I think I'm better than that. But you see, that's the thing. You think you're better than that. We need to let go of that sense of superiority and mm. accept the world for what it is. And then only then you can see what it can be. Mm. Yes, this was the, admittedly that first edict was perhaps the one that I struggled with the most in my monastery. I think it might be the principal reason why uh, Master Silvestre uh, expelled me. Well, expelled is perhaps too harsh a word, but um, wanted me to get out and get a little more, well, get outside of the bubble, as it were, of, of that monastery and learn a thing or two. I see I have a long ways to go, don't I? And also, as we are walking, I am going to have light on my holy symbol so that I am constantly glowing. <laughs> and uh, I, w I also have light, by the way, so I will probably have it. Up oh, well. look at that. Um, and uh, when we so get, you to get to be like the are you going to be like the the master at the beginning of this story arc? More or less. Uh, we, yeah, my character sees himself as just a guy. All right. R rest um, in peace, John. So is that how get, all <laughs> great masters do this? I will this have some camp, ghost by level two. camp blankets <laughs> yeah. that I will lay out for each person to sit on. Well, I set up the okay. tent, tech, get their bed rolls, set them up for them, then make the fire, then make supper, and serve them. All right. And say, let me know when you're done so I can do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> such a such a perfect little host. I've I'm got a, a navigator. I've got dishes. <laughs> I've got a navigator. Please. We've got a... A chef and a an innkeep. Mm -hmm. I, and I want so to have what, my wait, best invitation to make sure the food tastes extra good. What uh, what did you serve us? Uh, it would be it would have to be something that kept so probably um, uh, some some sautéed vegetables with some spices, um, and then a little bit of bacon mixed into it. Ooh. Okay, so. Uh, OOC, that sounds dank. Um, but for the sake of the memes, I'm going to roll perception to see how delicious I think this is. <laughs> eh, it's all right. It's you your foundry might reload as I load a map. I, I'm <clears> just going to say that Joel Ved thinks, man, and this proves that you are a great cook. Oh, thank you. I'm not. I'm not that great, but I, I think I can give it you better than hardtack. Anyway, it's delicious, Zappy. What's wrong thank with hardtack? Eh? Well, it gets a little boring. Yes, it does. That was a test. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up to Austin, and I'm going to pull up a little clear vial of, like, it looks just like water. It's a long say, flight, bro. 
Sorry, that was All a crappy right. joke. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to show you something. This is distilled arsenic. It is tasteless. It produces no smell. And if I had a problem with you, it wouldn't be in this vial. It would be in your food that you'd already eaten. And I just want you to know, this is my ex. Her name is Sasha. She's very, very sharp. And if I had a problem with you, you would be in pieces on the ground. I'm glad we had this talk. I feel like this is, you know, really good for, you know, communication. I'm still going to need, you know, an ear, a finger, uh, maybe a bit of skin that I can take back to my employers. I've been thinking while we walk, I might at some point, it may take some time and some permission from the game master, but I (laughs) might be able to develop a vial of fake blood or other you know, if I if you brought them a spile in uh, a, a vial of sp- fake spinal fluid, I think that I I believe there might be some alchemical solution. Maybe I could grow a heart that would match that of mine. Well, you know, I- you said a lot of words there that I didn't <laughs> fully comprehend. But if you think it can be done you know, then more power to you. It really depends on what the game master says because it's not quite within the bounds of what my (laughs) class can achieve. Yeah, you need to um, invent a formula that you can do as part of your daily reagents like really quickly. Yeah, yeah, so that's up to you. It's, It's something that He's but I didn't follow the whole conversation since I'm multitasking. What what you want to create basically, blood? I might be able to like um, develop uh, some kind of alchemical item that, or like I could, if I can like grow a toe that isn't necessarily like I'm regrowing a, a, a working finger, but can I like grow one in a petri dish that would work as like evidence that I've been killed? Oh. I would say that is something you could do as a third level character. Cool. Dang. We just got to get there, baby. This is right. this is Philzo's arc from going from Philzo to Edward Elric, the full oh, yes. alchemist. As it yeah, I'm going to so, put you in a suit. A level normal. three formula. There's a lot of weird <laughs> um, formulas in the Dark Archive book, by the way. There's a lot of weird yeah. stuff there. I've been only looking at the advanced player guide stuff as per your request. Do you guys make camp like? Do you guys have a campfire? Are you guys do? Yes, right? I you made a campfire. Stuff? I believe we have a campfire. All We're right. going to sing this campfire song. Our C M P F I R S O N G song. Oh, luckily for you, the party. Um, uh, you you hear some flapping of wings nearby. Ooh. N- not um, that doesn't sound like lucky, but it could have happened when you were in the middle of sleeping, but it didn't. So, uh, I'm sure it's just the wind. Sounds and like this map wings. pack, this map pack is not working. I'm no. op- trying to open things. Yeah, uh, I'm stuck on downloading world data. Oh, I'm not even downloading the world data. No, that shouldn't be happening. No, there's no new map. We're still on the the map of the area. Well, I pressed F5 and it's. In the downloading ward out of loop now. So, you know what? I it's just out of the am loop? here for a no, it's crappy completely. time, I'm, so I, I just hit F5. I'm, no, I'm in the downloading world data loop. Nice hoodie. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. World data. Da, 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 da. Okay, sorry. What did I miss? Yeah. Well, there's flapping of wings, and you uh, see something approaching the party. It can looks I like. See what a, it is? I think I can show it to you. It's some kind of flapping fleshy thing. Flapping fleshy thing. Yes. Well, I don't need any more description than that. Yep. 
looks like an insect, but made of flesh and large. Approaching the party. Well, that's it looks like a monster. So I yes. jump up. <laughs> Time for adventures. <laughs> All right. I'm going to reload application on my end. It's not behaving the way it should. I don't, it sounds like it's freezing for other folks. Yep. Okay. Hold on. That's so clutch having the water thing like literally right next to your desk like that. I use I drink a lot of water during the day. It's just because it's easy. handy. Me too. <laughs> Although I've learned so I fell down the rabbit hole of like medical TikTok and like medical joke TikTok. And apparently nephrologists who are kidney doctors say that you shouldn't drink a lot of water. But like I'm Define a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like you're nephrologists say you're only supposed to drink like eight ounces of water a day or something like that. Something ridiculous like that. To be fair, I learned this solely through medical memes. This is not scientific data. This is through memes. I don't think I'll be afraid of water. Oh, no, it you should it, it is the least harmful thing I put in my body. <laughs> it is quite literally the nectar of the gods. Huh, my world seems to take a while thing. to load. How's my internet connection? Hmm. Are other people able to log in? No. Downloading world data. Please wait. Huh. I'm still in Foundry. I never left. Yeah, me too. Cool. I'm on the Falcon's Hollow Environs, and we got it like a glowy campfire thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. That tells me I need to go to the forge and stop the server. Yep. I forgot that uh, the unedited one is going on Patreon, so... All of you patrons are going to see me in my pink Christmas boxes. Little Patreon exclusive. Ooh, Patreon exclusive I should put that in the trailer. Don't rewatch the video to figure out where that happened. Put a timestamp in the yeah, comments well, for everybody else. Well, while you're doing that, maybe I'll just take a quick break. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll go grab a drink then, too. Ooh, five minute break. I'm still here, Ron. Yeah. So for the people for the people who paid out the big bucks for for all this dead air, um, <laughs> hope you're having a good time. Hope you're enjoying it. We've gotten into almost nothing that's Pathfinder exclusive. Um, wow, I don't know. Yeah, how we just to had a few skill checks that were um, streamlined for what they were. To be fair, Fortitude um, DC. Well, I mean, that's basically what it is, though, right? Athletics is just athletics versus fort DC. That's that's it kind is. of the whole point. There is no opposed like my... role. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's why I like Pathfinder. Is it's like it gives you the framework to to streamline things really well if you want. You know, it's like sure, this versus that, done, easy. Um, and it it gives you the option to streamline everything but you don't have to which is mm -hmm. how i think like rules heavy games should work ha huh. stop the server started the server we're still in our safety car safety car right. if you include that oh, there's going to be one formula 1 fan that yeah. watches this that's going to get that and it's going to be like yes um. yeah! Someone mentioned Formula One! Which, if you do like Formula One, what? so do I. Zencaster is working all this time. Okay, stop the server. You big Daniel Ricardo fan? Start uh, the server. Um, no, no, I've been told that I look like Lando. You do look like Calrissian. Lando Norris. You kind of look Lando like Lando Norris. Norris. Like yeah. Which I'll take it. As soon as, as, soon yeah, as like. like my partner said that all the like Formula One people went, ooh, okay. I'm like, 
All the so Patreon supporters the also got to see my 15 year old son. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Does your 15 year old son year. look like Lando Norris? Um, I don't know who that is. He's a Formula One well, driver. Who looks kind of like Dom. Yeah, that's that's the that's his main claim to fame. Is he kind of looks like me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my um my my boy is having a massive um like sleepover party tonight with like nine of his friends and they're all going to be playing D and D none of them. Well, all but two of two or three of them have never played before. And last week they came over and I, I taught them all how to play. It took like four hours just to sort of explain the very basics of the game and to help them build their first character and then, and then run through like, one round of a combat encounter. I mean, I, I love, I love my son, but it was like eight 15 year old kids. Like it was like hurting cats on meth. It was, it oh, was, that sounds brutal. <laughs> it was fun, but yeah, there were a couple of times where I, it was very difficult hurting to not cram a D 20 down somebody's throat. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds I like remember- my native environment. Yeah. <laughs> well, fifteen-year-olds are like pets. You have to have a little treat. Yeah. To get them to do what you want. Oh, they ate. They went through like five bags of all the different kinds of M and M's. Yeah. You want the M and M? Lots of popcorn. <laughs> yeah. I, I should have. I should have. Fortunately, I'm not actually DMing the game. I, one of his buddies is experienced and he's played, so he's going to be running the campaign tonight. Now that everybody knows how to play. But. I have a theory that one of the modules that I tried to turn on messed everything up, so I'm going to remove the fa- the module. All right, ah, the Skyrim solution. <laughs> turn off mods individually until you find the one that broke your game. See, this is why I use Albert Rodier. Then you play two minutes of Skyrim and go on board. Owlbear Rodeo? What's that? Uh, it, it, it's a VTT that oh. basically is just a map and some very basic folk controls. Um, none of that. None of this extra stuff. I think it also includes... But all this extra dice stuff is so cool. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, well, if, I, if I'm playing on VTT, I, I usually just let everyone just roll their dice. My, my policy is always, if I don't trust you oh, to roll your own God. dice, then I don't want to play with you to begin with. Then you're not at the table. Yeah, yeah I get true. that. Yeah. I never use any VTTs. They're all new to me. I don't either. Yeah, I don't like I... them. I think they slowed the game down. But when I did use them once, just to you know throw my ring into the proverbial dick measuring contest we're having here uh, <laughs> that Dom started, uh, I used you're Photoshop. Welcome. I, I, I shared my screen while using Photoshop, and each uh, player was a different colored dot on the like map, and I would move it for them, and they would tell me where they wanted. That yeah. seems awesome. I, I, I like VTTs. I just don't like – I mean, I was telling you guys last time, I, I have a group of friends that we play in person, and I really struggle to be online. I think as a result, it just feels very – I don't know. Be once again, bragging Dis- is – IRL friend. I, I, <laughs> I just, I'm telling you, I don't know. It's it's hard for it me to now. to get into character. I think otherwise, mm-hmm. I'm just not good enough. No, nah, I I always think uh, the delay is a big thing for me. Like I'm mm-hmm. always like any Zoom conversation. You'll notice in this, I'm constantly interrupting people, and that's just because I'm fucking terrible at online, like talking. It loaded back up for me fine. Just says games yeah, paused. Oh, oh, now we're in the woods. Well, la di da. He's got IRL friends to play with and his VTT's loading. Would you win the lottery too? On <laughs> IRL Max's <laughs> game with my friends uh, tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. Let's go. Because I have real life friends too. Ha ha. And I love, All right, I, some I of you book. have the light spell on, but I don't want it on. You have you have a campfire. Da. Would highly recommend masks. Well, we, we didn't uh, turn I it off. That right? one there. Masks yes. to hold yeah. it up to the camera. 
it's a rules like superhero game. It's a oh. teenage drama game with superpowers involved. Really, yeah, hmm. we're both fans it's of this game. Fantastic. Love Everyone that I've ever been on the list for a while, with the, with the exception of like one person, uh, every single person that I have run the game for has loved it. Yeah, like uh, I put a bunch of effort into a Pathfinder game, a bunch of effort into a D and D game. Run masks for two sessions. That was everybody's favorite game I've ever run. And yep. how it goes. Um, I don't know why, but Sean's token says zero light, and I turned off the torch, but he emits light. Oh, because he has the light effect. Never mind. Oh, okay. now it's very dark. Now I can't see the, anything. Okay. Very good. I'm I'm still not in the world. I'm, I'm going to just start it from a new thing, Midging. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I'm going to close out of my Chrome window. Whoa. Mm -hmm. There we go. I thought you uh, your group finished your masks campaign, Sean. Oh, we started another one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we did. Uh, the final fight was, wasn't even a fight. It's just that people talked about their feelings for 30 minutes in character and won the game. Uh, that's that's an RPG called ends. Lasers and Feelings. That is that is how every that, that is the quintessential game. masks game ending. Is everybody just it talks really about their is. feelings? Yeah. Just to be fair, that's how a lot of my Pathfinder games end as well. Yeah, but like this game doesn't even have damage. It has yeah. conditions that you take instead. I'm ready of to start. It's like you're afraid, so you talk to people, get emotionally supported, and that's how you heal. <laughs> Um, it's it's great. it sounds super soft. Trump. It is great. Sounds like the most millennial game I've ever heard in my it, life. It is fantastic. It, it, it is incredible. It's a great game. Wait. You said you're 46, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, you missed the cutoff. All right. I know. I'm just a you're couple years to, off. You're very a couple close years to. off. Uh yeah, mine's my VTT is still not loading. I relaunched it. Same. Yeah, same. It says I that see the fire. Tactics is here. <laughs> Maybe he can't sleep. <laughs> All right. Bing, 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 bing. La la la. Well, but how about you work on future of the mind? You can roll I'll initiative. Do it. I'll I can do. I'm crazy. Well, anyway, I showed a fleshy. Um, fleshy mosquito-like creature flying oh. towards the party. A well-behaved blood seeker? <laughs> yes. Mosquito? No! Not the malaria! No! <laughs> and I, I, it's I, time to roll initiative. And um, because one of them rolled a literal natural one on stealth, I'm giving you guys a free round to get up and get your stuff in hand. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. I'm a monk. I don't also, need um, stuff in hand. I am legitimately terrified of mosquitoes in this game because I know what they do over time. I'm not scared of them in the fight itself. I'm scared of everything that comes after the fight with mosquitoes. All right. Don't spoil anything, Sean. All right. What happens Marcus, when I you mean, fight a mosquito, Sean? Oh, nothing good. Everybody gets dengue. Yeah. All right. Dengue. We're going to roll initiative. Dengue. So on the upper right corner, there is a fist symbol uh, to get the initiative tracker on. You can right click the fist to make it pop out. Well, not pop out in its own window, but. Well, Colby and Chris can, but. A mini window. The rest of us play. In can. Foundry. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Oh, it's doing that thing. It's giving me that stupid pop-up I don't like. Yeah, apparently, Austin, uh, we need to enable a Chrome acceleration. Hardware acceleration? Yeah, I I'm seeing if hardware acceleration is disabled. I tried opening up in Firefox, but it was working earlier, so that tells me it's not hardware acceleration that's the issue. Oh, yeah, my hardware acceleration is on, so... Yeah, because uh, oh. that's a setting that people would flip on and off. I'm not going to say why, because that involves, like, other stuff, but... All right, should I roll initiative for you guys? Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, I should have my entire sheet memorized if somebody just wants to share a screen so I can see the map. That is so fucking poggers. That is share ridiculous. screen. Or do something There's no like share that. screen screen sharing in Zencaster. Then mm. somebody just post a screenshot of the board map or when it comes to my <laughs> turn, I'll tell oh. you what I do. That is absolutely oh, okay. How did your token get surrounded by Mosquitoes. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, Malaria-filled uh, mosquitoes. Swing around, use them to hit everybody else, and then uh, do a big power slam in the middle of the ground. Uh, no, no. It's doing this thing, the pop-up that I don't like. Okay. Okay. Uh. Sorry, folks. I did roll a random, random monster. So. This side. It's okay, I love this touch. All right. It, with a um, high-pitched flapping, it uh, flies forward towards Ariana. Bring it on. And uh, it, it extends a leg and tries to hold on. It, it tries to get gain purchase on you, Ariana. Okay. Just one leg. You have an AC of 18, and here mm. comes an attack roll. Haha. -ha. Okay. Three plus eight is not enough. It's going to do one more attempt. It's got a plus eight. How to many hit. of them are there? It, yes. You know, it, it, what kind of a level one attacks, creature is this? The first one missed. It's a level <laughs> minus one creature. And yeah. its uh, second <laughs> attack will be at plus three. Okay. Because. Right. <sighs> All right. Sweet. The numbers all right. go Ari so, is just waxing on and waxing off all day. <laughs> Feel free to be descriptive, especially since it's your you know first time doing a number of things. I, I Orion, always. Ryan. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I just was going to say my my uh, I'm spoiled in that my DM for whatever reason spoiled. I don't know. Maybe some people it would bug them. He's always like taking the lead in like describing the action and the, every, the rest of us are all like little kids sitting around like watching a movie like then what did I it's do? Like watching Matt Mercer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Orion, you are 20 feet away from Ariana and this uh, pink fleshy mosquito bird thing is flapping all over her. Okay. Um, and it's the only one uh, that's here? You, you definitely hear others in the distance. And Ari is, for the record, like would be freaking out at this. She, she's, she was like, she, she's very clean. Like while they're sitting around the campfire, she's like stitching any like loose threads and things in her gi. Like, you know what I mean. So yeah, not a big fan yeah. of of bugs in general, particularly um, large, massive. I can grapple you and fly away mosquitoes. Gotcha. So. Um... I'm 20 feet so, away. So, three action economy. It's an action to walk over, it's an action to hunt prey, and it's an action to attack. The thing about hunt prey, though, is that it doesn't seem like it would really do anything in combat. Well, in your case, you have Flurry. twin takedown, um, which lets you attack your prey uh, with ah. two attacks using only one action. Yes, I of course knew that. So, I am, of course, naturally... Um, <laughs> Totally playing stupid, just you know, for the sake of the viewer. I obviously knew these things. <laughs> um, I am going to close the gap by using my first action mm -hmm. to take a step, take a big old fat step towards uh, Ariana and the blood monster. Does okay. that... it's an Ari space because it's a tiny creature. I'm going to move mm -hmm. Ari aside so that. Okay. Oh shit! I have to take two steps to do that. Um, that's one action. Or would could I use stride instead of step as my action? Yes. And would that get me to twenty? Fuck yeah! Yes. Okay. So I'm going to stride, and then I'm going to uh, hunt my. I'm going to designate these blood monsters as my prey. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that looks like in the fiction, but this is Pathfinder. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to use Twin Takedown. <laughs> are you uh, are you no are you in Foundry now, or are you depending on us? Uh, let me refresh it. I'm currently depending on you. I'm 
would have to restart. My, I don't have hardware GPU uh, acceleration going because I suck, um, and I would have to restart. And we're vibing. I didn't know. This is the first time I've heard of this uh, requirement. Uh, it's just so apparently it's a common troubleshooting fix. So if you haven't messed with it, it's on. Uh, but people might turn it off because it stops certain applications. Like I'm just going to say how it's normally why it's normally turned off. Because with Discord, when you're screen sharing, sites like Netflix and Crunchyroll will block it and just have it be a black screen. And hardware acceleration is what lets them do that. Mm. So people disable that set, they could then do watch parties. Makes Interesting. Sense. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, so I'm relying on you. All right. Target is hunted prey, and you're going to swing your... Which axis are you, are you wielding? Uh, that's a great question. So I am wielding a battle axe in my main hand mm -hmm. and a, uh, fuck, it's different than my path builder. Hatchet. Hatchet. A boarding axe in oh, my yeah, yeah, offhand. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. You're going to swing your battle axe. So, uh, I'm going to put it into chat. Twin takedown, uh, the single action flourish. It's kind of like flurry. Uh, but it is actually quite like Flurry, but it requires having a weapon in each hand. And he's going to swing his uh, battle axe at the creature. Oh, wow. 19 plus 7 um, is a 26. And because its armor class was 16, Crit. and that's 10 higher, that is a critical hit. Yes. First attack roll of the You know what? I'm game. not even going to roll we're not even going to roll damage yet because it's a single activity. Let's roll the second attack because you add the damage together. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um hatchet. The hatchet is going to be it's, it's a boarding axe, but whatever. Oh, it's the boarding axe. It's the boarding oh, okay. axe. Instead of minus 5 on this attack, it's minus 2 because he's a flurry ranger. Oh, so no. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, rolls a natural one. Don't. But from the first attack um, is going to crit, and I'm going to roll crit damage. And I like, oh. Yes, by rule, it is double damage. So 1d8 plus 4, he rolled 6 plus 4, it's 10, and that becomes 20 damage. And it explodes in a burst of blood that gets all over Ari. That's probably the most <laughs> attack. And uh, yeah, Ryan that's just your kind of three look, actions. Ryan just looks up at you and just goes, "Sorry, bud, <laughs> lost my temper there." Disgusting. Are there more? I'm going to tell all of you that you guys are. Um, uh, you hear them flapping and approaching. Uh, you can try to seek for them to try to make them to discern their location uh, that takes one action you could also delay so that you are later in the initiative you also could ready an action so that if you're a, like for example a melee character you can ready an action to find the trigger an enemy comes up to me and do something that can interrupt the enemy. But it takes two actions to ready one single action. OK, so I don't know if we, we want to talk as a group as to what you'd want to. Well, let, let me just call one person at a time. Zappy, what do you want to do? All right, so you said it takes two actions to ready one action. So does it right. take three actions or four actions to ready two actions? No. When you're ready, you end your turn immediately. Okay, so you cannot you cannot ready a spell. You can ready a one a two action, action spell. spell. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. So you might want to delay so that you can fully react to whatever. Yeah, happens. I think I do want to delay. Okay, Philzo. Um, Philzo is going to. Uh, so so you said we can already stand up and like have our weapons out, right? So I'm gonna mm -hmm. spend one action loading my blow gun with a poisoned dart that um, I didn't say at the start of the day, but two of my great centipede poisons go on darts and one is on my dagger. Um, 
so a poison dart and the blowgun and then uh i also am not on foundry properly at the moment is there anywhere i can hide uh it'll take two actions but yeah you can go okay. to something and then try to hide yeah so, so yeah will... i'm gonna i'm gonna um i'm gonna like jump in one of the tents and basically zip it almost all the way down from mm -hmm. the top i don't know if we have zippers in this world but um <laughs> zip it almost all the way down from the top and i'm just like um just my little head is, is uh sneaking out and there's just this little blowpipe ready to go um so that's okay. my whole turn load load a dot jump in the tent zip all it right. down and hide and a secret check to see um, if you successfully hide against the enemies. So I just rolled something. Okay, and you get plus two bonus for cover. Your name is Philzo. Okay. It All right. Is, um, Next also, is um, mm -hmm. sorry. One other thing, I just need to double check how this works. Um, okay, so as a before I was a bleachling, I was all kinds of white bright vibrant colors like all over my body and i can still kind of control that a little bit um never mind it costs an action i'm not going to do it at the moment but i can kind of camouflage myself if i concentrate but never mind that's my whole turn okay uh jewel ved all right what's the light level at our camp right now i can't load in foundry um 20 feet bright light around the campfire 20 feet more of dim light and the sounds are coming from beyond the dim light then I'm just going to keep my holy symbol out with my open hand I'm just going to close my eyes and listen as I delay alright uh, Ariana hmm I guess I'm going to ready an action Okay, and you can ready a flurry. Is that right? Uh, yes, Sean? that's that you was my. You are allowed to ready yeah. a flurry. Uh, you cannot ready like a flourish when you've already done a flourish, though. Right. Yeah. So, I've done flurry this turn, but he's so good. So you're good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ready a flurry. Okay, here we go. Flurry um, blows. Do I need to say like a... what? Sorry, what the trigger is that that triggers the readied action? Yeah. So basically, as soon as uh, like as soon as I see another one of those mosquito creatures, I'm going to attack it with flurry of blows. Also, all right, I'm going to there is one much faster than the previous one flying forward. It is looks manic, in fact, Ooh. and it's going towards Ari. Okay, so can I attack <laughs> it before it yes. gets me? Since I had that ready to action. <clears throat> all right, so all hover right. over the this creature and press T to target it. Okay. And then while you have your token selected, mm -hmm. uh, in the upper left, you see strikes. Yes. Okay. Now, when you hover over that. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. So, I, I'm planning on being in dragon stance. Does that take an action to do? Yeah. Yes. Let's say ah, that you enter okay, dragon sorry. stance and then ready. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now, is there a way to indicate in Foundry that I'm in Dragon Stance? Because it's not showing up. Like yes. my my kick isn't showing up as a, an option. When you so I'm going to do this, and I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to go un under Actions and click Dragon Stance. Okay. And in the chat, you see that little. Uh, there's mm -hmm. this little red rectangle stance. I think you can drag that to your hotkey bar. Ah. And when when you click your have your token selected, you just press the hotkey and it, it alternates between stances cool. so now you should have dragon tail as one of your attacks we're learning both pathfinder and foundry yes um okay yes i do okay great so i will um make my dragon tail attack so roll mm -hmm. and i'm doing okay. a flurry oh that was not a very good roll. okay that's a miss and now it's Click oh now bonus. now i have backswing on yes. my on this so tell me how that works again <laughs> so uh, when missed. you miss on a previous attack mm -hmm. you get a plus one circumstance bonus okay to this attack and i like to just apply it mentally 
there's okay. a way to use the modifiers on Foundry. Got if you it. want to avoid the pop up, do a shift click. Um, but it's, so it's like you know how to like you you put so much of your weight into your foot that it becomes right. you hit something, you just redirect that momentum back around. Right. She she just kind of reaches up and tries to kick this way, but but misses, and then she she comes back with the heel. Um, but so now the other leg. Yep. So what you're saying is this attack, since it's my second attack, would normally be made at a plus two to hit as opposed to a plus seven. But mm-hmm. since I'm I since I have backswing, it will be made as at a plus three. Yes. Instead That's of good. a plus two. Okay. So I'm just gonna roll it here and we just need to add one. Did I? Okay, a nine is going to miss. It's going to continue its flight. (laughs) It's been two actions flying here. Yeah. And it's going to attack you with a barbed leg. Okay. Just one, just one leg. Just one leg, 18. Um, I assume that an 18 hits an 18 AC. Yep. It does. All right, it's barbed legs attached to you. Mm See, it's similar to grabbing you. So that means um, grabbing normally immobilizes you, but you can actually walk around, but it's going to move with you. But it is now flat-footed uh, while attached. That means it gets minus two to AC. Okay. But... Um, okay, those, that's what happens. And Get there's it off some me. spoilery info in the text. So don't act on that info. Okay. <laughs> Zappy, do you want to do something now? Um, yeah, I was hoping to see two of these things, but um, I think I'm just going to shoot it. If you could wait more. You can wait longer. I, I, yeah, I could wait the whole battle. <laughs> you I'm hear gonna, more flapping. I'm going to shoot it with my crossbow. All right, then. Natural one. Okay, natural I get to one. re-roll it! No! Stupid Pathfinder! Really <laughs> no, not on an attack roll. I have never Stupid seen Pathfinder. natural ones with my characters and not get happy. <laughs> Chris, you are full of moments for my trailer. <laughs> All right, and then uh, that takes one action, right? Uh-huh. Uh, so with a second action... I will. Oh, I should point out that I think there is cover, less well, lesser covered because it's a creature, um, which would give plus one AC to the target because of where okay. you're standing right now. I will cast the shield spell. Okay, that is two a second action, and you can also reload your crossbow as an action. Um, actually, rather than reload my crossbow, I'm going to just run up to here. Aha. Uh-huh. I, I confused you actually with the other small person. Uh-huh. Come on. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> over here. So yes, was I, I already there? Okay. <laughs> Damn. I, 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 I can't see the map at no all. Noted bigot. I'm going Ronald to undelay. No. <laughs> Just... I'd like to undelay. I well, told you, mental if, shortcuts. I warned if, you. If I was already mm-hmm. there, then I would reload. Yes. I want to okay. undelay. Okay, I jump back into initial order. Undelay, undelay. Uh, was Sappy there before? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, Jelved. All right. So there's currently the bug on my disciple, so I'm going to go run over and use my martial arts training to try and punch the bug in its stupid bug face. Okay. Uh, and I would like to position myself so that I am flanking, not that it really matters. If that okay, is you'll go here. Side, I can't see the map, so probably sure. Okay, so I that's an action. I can't roll my thing, uh, but I know. Oh yes, I will roll for you. Fist is the one that has the increased damage. So. There you go. You have a cow punch mosquito. Okay, nine plus six is fifteen, and it hits precisely because it was flat-footed. Nice. And then I the do mosquito is talking to its mates outside the nightclub, and Sean just runs okay. up. Wow! <laughs> that is a four bludgeoning damage to the Bloodseeker. 
Uh, I'm just Action gonna go three. for another fist strike because. All right. Okay, this is a plus two bonus. Okay, two plus two will miss. Okay, that's you. Okay, critical blood seeker will fly towards the cleric of Aurori. Two actions, flies into your space, and it's going to try to attach itself to you. 11 plus 8, 19 is going, it succeeds. It is now attached to you. That's fine. And fly. Imposing Bloodseeker is going to also try to go for Jolved. Mm-hmm. Nine plus eight, 17 misses. And that's okay, why you buy armor. Yes. Missed Every by one. plus one. So I put that point to death. I, I have that as a motto. You can call it the motto of my channel. Every plus one. If, I, if only you had some kind of thing that you could like, display that says every time <laughs> plus one is the, is, is the difference. Uh, For those it's, watching, it's, it's, Dom it's is bullying. the creator of that animation. Oh, who, me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Orion. Uh, you are up. There's a new one that's attached to Ari. And there's two flapping about Jolved. One of them is attached. Okay. Um, I think I'm closer to Ari, right? Yeah. Uh... All right, yeah, I'm just going to go for... Am I still within melee range? Yes. All right, well, then clearly that is the biggest threat to me. So uh, I'm going to use an action to change my prey to that. I'm going to hunt mm -hmm. that prey, and then I'm just going to do twin twin turbo takedown. All right, here we go. With my axes. All right, axe. Oh my, I'm playing this ranger like a barbarian. Kind of. Just... You know, it's just a I, dual right, battle axe. Barbarian. I rage. I attack it. I rage. I attack one. It. You roll a one. Here comes the second attack. <sighs> That's the miss sound. Four plus five misses. You have one more action. Uh, one, one, You're a flurry ranger. You it's... still have that agile attack, which is only at minus four. I do have that agile attack. It's only at minus four. Uh yeah, fuck it. We ball. I'm playing like a barbarian. Uh, yeah, you which are is ironic because I hate that class. But um, yeah, let's just. You, you said not? you wanted to just like hit shit. Thirteen. I was kind of three. joking. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to learn how to like actually play the game, so you know I understand the intricacies of the combat. But it's all good. It's fine. Oh, I keep one shotting the enemy, so I don't need to like strategize. Oh no, this is so <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it's tragic. <laughs> Okay, uh, 13 yeah. plus 3, 16 is a hit, and uh, your boarding axe is going to do 4 plus 4 damage. Dead um, Bloodseeker. <laughs> However, uh, if it, the Bloodseeker is killed while attached, the creature Ari takes 1 persistent bleed damage. Mm. Sorry about that, bud. Damage goes away if you're ever healed back to full health, by the way. Which is a relevant bit of text that I'm going to mention as Claire. Okay. Yeah. Ah, thank you, friend. I hate other creatures' blood. As I'm like splattered in it. <laughs> okay, Philzo. Philzo hiding in the the tent. Okay. Do I see any of the blood seekers? Yes. There's one attached to Jolved and one trying to attach itself to Jolved. So okay, sorry, do I need to mark attack. like that I lost a hit point here? Oh, sorry. Uh, Persistent damage only turn. happens Persistent at the end of your turn. Ah, got it. And why has my AC been lowered by two? Oh. Ah, uh, because they've, they've grabbed you. Yeah, but no longer. It's it's dead now, so. Huh. Oh yeah. Cool. But yeah, so when you're flat footed, that just reduces your AC by two. So it's not like one E for reference, Chris, where it's you lose your dex mod and you have to calculate that. So it's always minus two, and if you're tripped, 
get flanked, get grabbed. That's all just flat footed. Okay. Um, so it doesn't yep. stack. So, which is relevant because uh, it's attack the one that's attached. I don't need to be hidden from it because I'm it's already flat footed. So I'm going to pull out a vial of um, uh, this like silvery liquid that seems to constantly be shifting and moving regardless of like my own movements. Um, gonna down that. <laughs> You see he becomes, it's almost like the moisture gets sucked out of him. He becomes even more gaunt. Um, you can see uh, any like water weight that's on him just goes uh, goes away. Uh, as I drink my Quicksilver Mutagen, which does an amount of damage to me that I can't remember. Um, and it gives me a okay. plus one to basically everything dexterity based except for AC. So including All right. my ranged attack. Um, and then I'm going to <laughs> um, spit that dot out of the blowgun at the one that's attached. All right. I don't, I don't think there are any attached any longer. The one that was attached to me is dead, right? And then there were two hovering around Jolved. It, it got the critical one is attached to Jolved. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I make a roll. Here we go. Blowgun. Yes, yeah. Plus six. Okay. It should be uh, plus seven because I drank seven. my Quicksilver Mutagen. 17 plus 7, uh, 24 is going to, it would be a crit, but for the lesser cover. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, roll damage. I, I have a physical size. Yeah, I didn't realize it was on the other side. Oh, I roll damage. No, there is no damage. It's one piercing damage, right? And um, it makes a fortitude save against my poison. The... I, I've, uh, I, I just, just. Just a quick question. Um, do my allies give less a cover? Yes. Yes. Uh, right, Unless you take okay, right. uh, the it's not redo dedication. Damn. Okay. All right. Okay. It makes a fortitude save. Yeah, against my three plus eight. It fails its save. Giant centipede awesome. venom. When it um, it immediately takes what one d eight, one d six. One d eight, and it's flat footed for a round. Nice. Which okay. it's already and at the end of its turn, it's going to make uh, another save, and it can go to a later, more severe stage yeah. of poison. That's three actions for you. That's three actions so for me. I'm one fine. action to take out the vial. One action to drink it. One action. And one to action fire. to Art. fire. Okay, Ari. Right. No so what, what right. was the damage on my poison? I didn't. I I can't see the chat. I just wanted to. It did take uh, three damage. Cool. From the poison. Um, okay, so am I currently in range of the non-attached uh, Bloodseeker? Yes. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm just going to flurry kick this thing. In oh, this you know ten. what? Um, you should move around it because... Then I could flank. The square it's in. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to getting... Yep. Okay. So then in that case, I will stride mm -hmm. to the other side. And now I gotta highlight it to target it, but I can't. You press Ooh, to target go. it and click on your own token. Like that? Did I do that right? If it shows like yep. the arrows around it, you did it right. Okay. All right. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, hey, I'm still in. Dra Does Dragon Stance not last until I undo Dragon it? Dragon Stance lasts for the entire fight. As okay. long as combat lasts, it lasts. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Okay. As soon as the last enemy falls, it runs out. Okay, now. Um, I'm showing that I have a plus six to hit, so help me understand mm. um, why that would be. Because it should be... It should be plus seven. It should be... My regular is plus seven, and if I've got him flanked, it should be a plus nine. Is that right? Well, it reduces hold their on. AC. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It says plus seven to me. Oh. Weird. Yeah, mine's still showing plus six. You might Do be I not at have... my attack? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I didn't have myself like highlighted. It. Yeah, okay. Have me highlighted. And, and then flat, never... and then um, flanking makes it flat-footed. So it's just going to lower a its modifier AC. Modifier on it. Correct. Got it. Okay. Attack the first. Whoa! Come on. Natural twenty. <laughs> Natural twenty. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I like that sound. That's a that, crit. Made. that was cool. Me too. 
Okay. It's very satisfying. Oh, oh, except the audience won't hear it. Mm. Oh, it was a really cool sound. sound. It went like. <laughs> yeah, it was. It will report right, like cool sounds. <laughs> yeah. Dom um, okay. and I need to get onto that audio stuff. So now do I just roll damage okay. under that same strikes yeah. button, or do I need to do something yes. different? Click critical. Ah, under in the in the chat. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay. Ooh, so crappy critical roll. Yeah. Still very good though. Okay. Uh, you, because of your strength, that becomes plus four, and then you double the total. Right. For 12 damage. That's I actually nice prefer to have doesn't... double dice. Oh, I like uh, this way better. Because in D&D, you only double the dice, right? And not the modifiers. Yeah. And a lot of times, unless you have some sort of homebrew rule where you get like max dice plus a roll or something like that, like you can roll a one or a two and it's like, I crit him for five damage. Hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to switch to hmm. my um, preferred rule of double dice right now. Okay, so that was the default. The it is still an official rule. Uh, got it. Yeah. Got it. So um, it, means, it means no, no, we're crazy. using this. 12 is enough to kill it. It explodes. Sweet. <laughs> Sick. All right. And there was another one still. Yes, up, and you right? can. You, were you flurrying? I was. Uh, can you only flurry yeah, against a single target? You can, uh, you can do multiple no, targets. No, you can you assign it to the next okay. one. Okay. Austin can only do it to one target because that's uh, his like hunted prey thing. You can just mm -hmm. bang. Got it. Okay, so next attack then is only mm -hmm. at a plus two. And... Yeah. Oh, it's almost it was almost a nineteen. Okay. <laughs> so I missed, and that's that's my turn because I moved for no, my first it? action. You're, you're oh, you're right. Flurry's only one have action. A third action. You still have another action yes. to play with. Okay, now let's uh, explore third That's actions. Really cool. um, you could um, try to demoralize it, give it a minus one to everything, okay. <laughs> including when it, the frightened condition is a minus one status penalty to everything, including its AC, its attacks, its DCs. However, you don't share a language with it. So you would uh, demoralize... Which, which is what I'm talking about, usually involves like some kind of insult or something. You, you instill terror in their hearts by some words you say. Or so you have a point. minus four penalty uh, against something you don't share a language with. Okay. Uh, some other common ones are uh, shield, which you don't have. Faints was preceding an action. Mm. Um, the aid action is really strong. Um, so it's like taking help. Kind of for for D and D lingo. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, yes. it's, it's not it's not as busted as the help action, but it's still mm -hmm. at later levels. It gets pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm just gonna instead uh, instead of trying to kick them, I'm going to just make a regular unarmed attack because with my fists ah, they're agile. Right. That's what I was gonna recommend. Okay. Kobe's got yeah. it. So so that's only a <laughs> minus one to hit. Right? Am I yeah. saying that right? Yeah, still not very likely, but let's give it a go. I mean, these things is, have like it is flat-footed though. Whole AC. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, Good roll. The words. Ah, like, uh, uh, okay. Oh, barnacles. I'm, I'm just, I just. I can't um, see this from the screen. Yes. I have to mention hero points. Uh, at the start of every session, you um, have one hero point. There are two uses for hero points. One is you roll a d20 and you don't like the result, so you roll it again. Um, and accept the late or the second result, even if it's worse. And the it's other is worse. you spend all of your hero oh, points that you've accumulated in order to prevent yourself from dying. And you earn hero points for whatever the GM decides, like doing something daring, creative, cool. Um, so what I'm going to give everyone is... a hero point for good role play today. So everyone has two hero points right now. Okay. And so I could use one to re-roll that attack that I just made. Is that what you're saying? You yes. Could. Okay. Or I could save it. You say you, you get them at the beginning of every session? Sorry, I'm just checking Correct. the time. It always yeah. resets. That doesn't yeah. carry over. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try again then. Okay, so to do that in Foundry, right-click the the eight there. Right-click it. The eight, the eight, the eight. In chat. Ah, thank you. And then a little menu comes up. Got it. Reroll using a hero point? Yes. Cool. Come on, baby. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, marbles. okay. All right. Worse. Sometimes <laughs> hero points. Sometimes you roll a natural one on a hero point. And it's like sad. Yeah. Okay. Your turn ends now, and you take one persistent damage. Okay. And what you do now is called a flat check. A flat check means no modifiers applied to it. You just roll a d20. Okay. And you need a 15 or higher to end a persistent damage effect. Come on, okay. Ooh, okay. There That's you go. You're no 20. longer bleeding. Nice. But you did take the so one damage because that happens before the roll. Blood. That's right. Yeah. I'll show you, Mosquito. Okay. All right, Zappy. Guess I'll shoot it again. Okay. Yes. There he is. Ooh, Ooh that's a hit. Boy from Rosario. Also, another fun thing is Electric Arc is not an attack, so you can go crossbow and Electric Arc both at full accuracy. I, I was, I've been holding off Electric Arc all this time because I need two targets for it, and I've never had two. No, targets. it's it's up to two. You up can two. you can do it against just oh, one really? if you want. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's well, ridiculous. I would have been doing that from turn one. I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to hit an ally with it, so... I gotta I wait know. to do these damn All right. things. L let's play out this roll, but let's also simulate electric arc right after. Um, All right. But yeah, roll damage. Okay, it's a regular hit or a critical mm -hmm. hit. Regular. Regular. No, oh, actually, no, it's a regular because of cover. Eight damage and it dies, and that, and we now Boy. get persistent damage from for Jolvid. And uh, oh, the 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 bad thing that Sean was hinting at didn't happen <laughs> yay okay now zappy um hooray no malaria all right zappy you could also uh l let's say let i'll put another on the map um let's put two on the map um hover over those and press t on one and then shift t on the other i think on one uh-huh I don't think you're targeting them yet. Huh. Uh, okay. Uh, then I'm not doing something right. Um, how, so I hover over them and just press T. Uh -huh. You probably yeah. got to click on it, no? Do I got to click T or? No. Oh, it went back. That back. worked. All right. And shift T. Okay. okay. Now, um, with your token selected, hover over spells. And yeah. click electric arc. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a little animation. Isn't that, that cool? cool? Yeah. That okay. And then sick, you just click guys. the image. Yeah. It's because I can't see it. <laughs> Who's <laughs> four? You get to <laughs> see <laughs> the VOD. <laughs> okay. So that's, he rolled, he rolled <laughs> max damage four plus four his intelligence Jeez. mod four. So it's eight electricity damage, but they each get a saving throw. The earthy blood seeker does a reflex save and needs to beat a 17. So I'm gonna roll it. It rolls 19, so it takes half damage on a success. The other second one is going to roll. <clears throat> Succeeds These also. Guys have big save bonuses. Yeah, I was right to shoot the crossbow. <laughs> I mean, they're mosquitoes. They're gonna have pretty good reflex, right? Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Something did not happen, which will be experienced by Chris later. But uh, mm. all right, that's that battle. You guys have um, defeated the great um, threat of the forest, da, da, da. and you have earned mosquitoes very badly. <laughs> you have earned sixty XP. That was a low encounter in the in the math of the game. Okay. What, what? You get to level two when you earn a thousand. All okay, right. Go Only nine hundred and forty XP to go. We're so close. Um, we're practically there. <laughs> Almost taste. With, oh, you know what though? You earned a bunch session. of XP for the role play, uh, according to the module. Sick. Um a few months. Bitch. How much? Yeah. I want to say something close to like three hundred. Make it four hundred. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> I'll have to do the math later, but Make they, they made it particular because this I was based on 3.5. <laughs> this is the, the based on a prequel to Crown of the Cobalt King. It was originally a series of modules, and the first module spanned level one for 3.5 characters, which is a very fast level. So there's not a whole lot of traditional XP here. You guys so see off the and module about... says, you know, reward oh, yeah. for roleplay and stuff. Yeah. Um, after about a minute, you see Philzo, who still looks so gaunt and like so much more wiry. He um, goes like off into a bush and just starts yakking, just starts vomiting up, um, like that <laughs> that quicksilver mutagen. Mm. Yes. <laughs> As he's yakking, Orion uh, 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 saying, says, "He does that." <laughs> oh, this is normal. I thought he was doing my job for me. No, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. Just give him a Ari will Ari will very wordlessly and and as calmly as she can, but you can tell that it's like a struggle. Will go to like the nearest water source and start to like clean <laughs> clean all of the blood splatter off of herself. Oh, I can help you. Oh really? no, don't There's no, one don't last order. Your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's one last order of business. That. Uh, Sean, I'll, give me a I'll bunch of D twenty rolls because he, oh, wait, wait, he is just bleeding. Foundry and do that. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're not in Foundry. No. It says you are in um... three of us aren't in Foundry. Okay, on my screen it says Swing Ripper is. Well, it's almost like you haven't clean. It's almost like you haven't yes. seen the memes that I've been posting in the in the Discord in the chat. Group chat. <laughs> uh, I think that you do need to like put some of those memes on screen now, even in the. Oh my god, I have a single monitor, fire. you guys. They're kind right of now. I'm transitioning. You think I'm going to be on top of all this? <laughs> Your monitor okay. Yeah, huge. when I cast prestidigitation, basically I've taken out like a little rag and I like rub the, the blood and it just disappears. Nice. Oh. All right. I'm rolling like to see how much Sean Thank bleeds. You. All right. He's going to have. I have plus five medicine. Six failures before a success. And other people. I was going to say that I'm just going to spend a spell slot to heal third level. Thir three action heal just. Third everywhere. level? Well, not third level. Wait, no, that's great because that means Sean gets a lot of XP, right? <laughs> that's a that's a powered by the apocalypse that, joke a, for those of you at home. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, this this yeah. It's you a, wouldn't know anything about that, Ronald. All right, Sean, what is this? What does this look like? What do you you so cast my, heal? So for the heals, I have to go through the motions and all the different stances as I do it. So at the start of it, I just channel a little bit of holy power into one hand. Then I have it go over my entire arm, and I have it focus through the holy symbol before spreading out to the entire party, doing 1d8 of healing to everybody around me, including mm. myself. All right, roll. I will roll a d8. Yes, you will roll the d8. All right, everybody heals eight. Wow. So because I only needed that, one, but I'll take it. You would have done that I before didn't, didn't, the I minute was up, it. so I actually <laughs> I think, don't feel I think the cleric's the one you needed <laughs> Untouched, um, high five. I, I have to spend go. like an no hour wounds. trying to treat wounds on you. Well, actually, right. if it would be six failures for success, I don't have oh, continual we're, recovery We're about yet. to go to sleep, so I'll just drink an yeah. elixir of life. Sure. Okay. Let's see. And I am... It's not always... Uh... It's not always one random encounter per night. I'm not complete. That was a lot of setup. Ooh, if I had rolled a 20. <laughs> okay, it is now the next day. I prepare two magic weapons as my prepared spells in the same cantrip, so I don't change anything. Okay, Sean am... likes to say things that, um, <laughs> like I would have known anyway. I am making breakfast for everyone. Just as a ah, first breakfast. I'll get up a little early so that when they wake up, it's ready for them. So oh, I'm just meditating nice with the sunrise. Out, out, out of character, it is 3.40 p.m. And I do recall that, I believe it was Colby I who know. said, I just want to make sure you look. I was, I was a timeout know, coordinator in the broadcast. Oh, no, I'm not mad at you. Thanks for looking out for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. We can continue a little, far, a little longer. 
Yeah, um, Ronald's okay. gonna be I'm like, going to... Ronald's gonna take it to 359 and then be like, and then the vampire shows up and then just, oh, <laughs> and that's the session. Um, so I have no I'm way to of 359 and then knowing. now I want everybody's impression of the you session. Don't want to run out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I have no way of knowing that we didn't get diseased. So I'm going to, instead of preparing, um, mm-hmm. instead but of you preparing, could all recall knowledge. About well, blood seekers. Yeah, uh, so I'm, uh, it's I'm not a very good at that, nature, but I'll try. nature or medicine for your specific question. I'm going to do a secret roll. You actually, I'm going to ask not, they, our new. I'd also like to see friend. if I know because uh, medicine and nature are two things that I'm decent at. Wow! Also, if only there was someone too. who in this party who lived in the wilderness for most of his yeah, life. Yeah, that's been... that's why I'm not going to do the recall knowledge. I'm going to ask Austin. You know, all right, Austin believes that they normally do not spread disease, that they usually suck blood. Well, well usually... th- this is not true in real life. Yes, they do normally. W- you would think ins- uh, mosquitoes would spread disease, but that's uh, what they have. Uh, most humanoids have developed immunity to, so that's not your main worry. Yeah, Austin. You do know that, that their mosquitoes... main ability, though, is that um, when they actually get some time while attached to you is that they can drain you and give you the drain condition. It's oh, like a pen- it's like constitution damage mm. that yeah. you have to spend a night to get back. So just pretend you heard all of that, so but lucky. in my voice and a Minnesotan accent. Because <laughs> it's coming from Orion. Right. Okay. Oh, and your dragon stance ends. You're not in dragon stance all night. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I, okay, cool. like, how long, is there a duration? I didn't ever see one. Could I just, no. like, wake up in the morning and put myself in dragon stance? It's a um, stance. The stance trait says you cannot do them outside of encounters. Got it. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be about eight hours travel, uh, assuming um, a decent, actually, it wasn't that good of a check. You find out. You find out that her survival check, her secret survival check, uh, is not was not successful. So it's going to be another couple of hours. It's going to be, um, let's say, it's now three o'clock. So it becomes five o'clock when you actually get there. So you are uh, the sounds of the forest become suddenly distant as the trees part opening into a small, almost perfectly circular glade. The nearest stands of pine, fir, and darkwood twist away from the clearing, as if bent by some impossibly strong wind, or perhaps in an attempt to turn away from what's in the center. At the center squats an ugly cottage, little more than a pile of twigs, shoots, and ivy stacked upon mud walls. From the thatched roof dangle bundles of gnarled roots, old animal bones, and knuckle bone bangles, all clattering together like gruesome wind chimes. Ooh. A dozen small thatched fetishes, each shaped like a tiny person, imp, or rearing serpent, stand propped in the yard, keeping guard before a rickety plank door. What appears to be the remains of a recent campsite sit near the northern portion of the clearing. So let's talk adventure for like five more minutes and before we break but, and get some thoughts. All right. Um, just really quickly, instead of preparing elixirs of life today, I prepared two anti-plagues. I'm going to drink one immediately, and I'm going to give the other to Zappy, and I'm going to say, just in case. And hey. I don't trust this. Well, um, if you need it, I'll it have before. it for you. No, no, I mean, drink it now. You drink it. It lasts for 24 it's, hours. It lasts 24 hours. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and can then you I'll, put it in chat, I'll uh, Dom, so that we can I'll drag in, the effect? I'll bump into Ari- uh, I can't get Ariana. Ariana. I oh, Ariana. sorry. <laughs> Drink this. <Once> again. <laughs> Drink this. Uh, normally, I don't uh, voluntarily drink things that people simply hand me without knowing what they are, but Zappy, I trust you. And she'll just take it and down it. Well... Uh... <laughs> Oh, and then I'll turn. Uh, I'll turn around. And, mm, was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair. Thanks, um, Mister Norming. I'll be just fine. Okay. Good. I don't know what I would do if anything. Kind of. Happy. 
she'll look over at uh, at what's going on, um, Mr. Norman, and be like, "What was that exactly? It tasted a little off, if I'm being honest." Well, I don't make them for the taste. Uh, if you're exposed to disease for the next day or so, this will help your body's white blood cells counteract any nasty effects. Hmm. I have no, no idea, idea what, what white are. blood cells are, but <laughs> it sounds uh, promising, so thank you. Zappy realizes he's been discovery. caught in a lie, goes, I don't know how you would know anything about <laughs> any antitoxin. Zappy. And then he walks I away. gave that to you <laughs> because I want to protect you. Don't worry, okay. I'll protect him. Yeah, saw his poker right. face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You never were a good gambler, something. I think actually we should stop now. The adventure part. Don't want to get too excited. And uh, we will. Hmm. We'll figure out scheduling uh, separately. So thoughts. We only had one short fight. And also, you guys saw some skill checks happen, and also the exploration activities. It, it was fun. I, I enjoy the I enjoy the three action uh, economy. Um, it, it's pretty simple and straightforward and and intuitive. Um, and I also like the ability that like everybody has to make multiple attacks if they want to just you know, at suffering a progressively more punishing bonus. Um, it feels, hmm, like, uh, how do I say? Fairly um, balanced, I suppose, like amongst characters in that way, which I which I, I do like. I am surprised to see, um, I mean, even those level one creatures having both like really high plus to hit, really high um, uh, like save bonuses and stuff, um, but also like a decent amount of hit points. And then as level one character, I mean, I've got 19 hit points, right? Like compared to D&D, &D, that's, that's crazy. And, and that's kind of nice because level one in 5e is sort of notorious for being like the time for everybody to die because you're running Seven around with like with eight hit points or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, down. Yeah. So that's cool. I also love the um, the the way that you can crit. Well, we already talked about how crit doubles the damage from modifiers too. Awesome. But also um, that you can crit either with a natural 20 or just by surpassing the target AC by 10, um, which gives you additional incentive to really increase that hit chance, right? Um, so yeah, that's cool. When when I was, uh, that's that, part of the every plus one matters motto because right. it, it sometimes it literally doubles your chances of having a critical hit. You yeah. go from needing a no. 20 to 19 or 20. When I was running a 5e campaign for my real life friends back when I did that before the world ended, um, I totally 100% stole the uh, 10 over like mm. crits like that's the easiest rule to steal for your 5e games yeah and for anyone watching i highly encourage you do steal it i mean you should switch but you know if you don't you <laughs> also <laughs> also i was gonna say loving um like the way that different even just uh weapon attacks have a variety of traits based on the weapon itself based on you know all these kinds of things it keeps it a lot more interesting for martial characters maybe in particular so that you're like oh well because i'm using this kind of weapon it can do something else like attack a target next to me or have the backswing thing or you know all this other stuff that makes it a lot more interesting to think about okay what weapon am i going to use not just well this does 2d6 and that does 1d12 so i'll take the 2d6, 2D6 you know, yeah or whatever Something we also saw is um, it's going to be a recurring theme, but uh, when something was, there's a lot of missing or succeeding by ones or twos, and that's going to keep happening. Yeah. Uh, because the math is, 
the the bounded accuracy uh, from five E. It's a good goal, but it actually kind of you can stack bonuses, and I'm talking to two experts in that. <laughs> <laughs> you can stack lots of bonuses to make it so that you can succeed on a quite a low roll on the D twenty. Uh, but um, because it's a, like a narrow band of um, possibility, yeah. the math is tight. Is usually what's said in the in the Pathfinder community. Those um, that the tension of the D twenty roll usually sticks around. Oh, and these were level minus. They're technically level minus one, the Bloodseekers. <laughs> and I shared um, the link to the encounter building rules in the Discord which shows that they count as 20 XP each um, against, well, against a party of four. Because they are two levels below the party's level. Mm -hmm. If they were level one, they'd be much tougher and approximately twice as strong and be 40 XP each. Mm -hmm. So some of you may be calculating in your head, well, there were four of them, so shouldn't you get 80 XP? I fudge the math because you're a five person party oh, you <laughs> that's not even fudging the math that's just how the encounter building that is work. how it works i mean yeah. lit- if i went if i was purely math geeky that was 64 xp <laughs> i do that actually so sometimes pissed. in my home yeah. campaign. I, I, I we end the campaign the give us decimal xp in your home games <laughs> if we end a session four xp below leveling up i'm gonna, I'm gonna remember up. yeah I'm going to find a okay, score. I'm you four XP lawyer more get now. ready to get sued. <laughs> because this is actually how I work. I, I don't want to do it by raw. I'm just going to, this is how I operate. So 64. But also, I'm going to, I'm going to, when I do some math, I'll let you guys all know how much XP you earned for the session because that was, uh, you earned XP for all, all that RP. Uh, Chris, any thoughts? Um, yeah, it's still early for me to really, I, like, I haven't cast a spell yet. Uh, yeah. that, that's not true. I cast <laughs> press the digitation to clean up uh, Ariana after which the fight, I, which yeah. she but, really appreciated, and and a shield spell that never came up. But um, so so it's it's a little early to kind of get my feel on it. It is um, to so I, I I'll tell you, frustrating to be a play a halfling and roll a natural one. <laughs> 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 that's usually happy time. Um, yeah, any anything you that pissed you off any moment, so I can create you know clips. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're so you know, chill, Kobe. You're not. I you I'm, know, like, I'm looking I, for I had piece. Fun, I had a lot of fun, but uh, at this like the first session, we were doing a lot of role playing and yeah. getting to know each other and getting a feel for each other. And Wait, I think I would have enjoyed this stuff. regardless of the of of the system. Um, because it was largely about the people I was playing with, which so yeah. you're not ready to burn all of your five e books after one second <laughs> Pathfinder? Like yeah. what? So, this is the internet, man. Like, come on. All right. Well, Chris, I want I want to ask you how you felt when you that moment where you realized you couldn't ready a two action spell. Tell us about that moment. Um, I'm I was I was going into that 50-50. I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to or not, and I didn't have a huge stake in it, right? Like, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll ready this electric arc. And as we saw, my crossbow was probably as good as the electric arc anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that really felt okay. like... Uh, so, I, is... I mean, I mean, should... Yeah, I, I don't have a strong opinion on it either way. If it, if it had been allowed, if it had not been, you know, it, I would have definitely done it. But um, because the delay really didn't work for me, right? It, it, it ended up being a bad tactical decision. But the, uh, um, so maybe I should have ready to crossbow shot. Maybe that's what I should have done. <laughs> that exchange one... felt like a sports interview. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to uh, hear. So, do you want to so hear Dom, one tactical tip? Do you want to hear one tactical tip? It's one thing that I think could have been done better. Should I? Yeah. Sure. Go for, Go for it. it. All right. Electric arc would have been good, I think, because the thing was down to about two hit points, I think. And you get you do five damage by default. So it would have No, I don't. You know, even if it, it took I, half I damage. Have done, I wouldn't have done five damage. I did less than five damage even by rolling a four, because it gets a save for half. Yeah, but 
two is enough. To I, I know it would have gotten two. Yeah. I didn't know it had two hit points left. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's I, I guess you know from experience, you'll know that a blood seeker is going to have after it was hit once, it wasn't going to have a lot left. Uh, yeah, I'd so it would have. But the other before. thing is, they <laughs> yeah. have such low AC when they're attached. Like you might as. I think it's better to target the the lower defense. I think especially. Oh, maybe you're right, Dominic. Combo. Because they have such high. Because it was flat footed. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, the obvious answer was just do both, which was the game plan. And I think that's the actual correct play. It wasn't a blunder at all. Yeah, I take it back. <laughs> no, you're you're, uh, Sean, you're you sound like an out optimizing me on your right first now. battle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. All I know uh, is I, I there actually... was a spell that was for two creatures, crossbows for one creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I'm happy with the group dynamic and character dynamic. I didn't expect that to go off so well. Uh, I, I know <laughs> I'm, not not that the, I... I'm not in the position to hand out the game ball here. I keep using sports metaphors, but game ball <laughs> goes to Zappy uh, for every time you opened your mouth. I was laughing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed sure. Dumble as well. That was awesome. yeah. I was about to say run, yeah. runner up Philzo for sure. I think sure. Uh, you know the I, moment yeah. that I you thought realized. it was the relationship Philzo between the two. Great, that was great yeah. wholesome. I was wholesome. cracking up because of the two together yeah, yeah it's, love, a good, it's a good it's a good straight man uh abbott and costello you know yeah, kind yeah. Of. I, I, Although, I wouldn't i wouldn't call him a straight man with the way he was like defending the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> he's a good employer good for the economy and uh <laughs> listen listen i'm a, I had a disclaimer owner. on those those drugs <laughs> <laughs> He's not just a businessman. He's a businessman. Yeah, yeah, that's just it. Um, and then the, the Oscar for acting goes to Dom for when Philzo realized that he would may have to cut off a finger, and he really didn't want to. That face, um, that was a great face. So this was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Top two. Um, I loved, I loved the foundry music that came up when we were listening to Col Colby's intro. Like it was, I was like, oh, it, it was inspiring. Like. <laughs> It was a very, it was like a really well done intro, and just the the foundry music choice hit. At just the yeah, I, 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 I'm 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 assuming they're not a sponsor, but um, you know, I I was really impressed with with foundry. Um, I, just just the, the little crash. extras, yeah, except <laughs> for the crash. Good point. Yeah, um, all the little extras, the 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 animations, the sound effects. Um, not something I've seen. I don't. Maybe Roll Twenty does that, and I'm just unaware. But that's the only other VTT I've ever used before. And this Roll this Roll Twenty does it, and it's better. just garbage. Mm. Uh, it, it, Roll Twenty <laughs> has it as a feature, but it was so inconsistent whenever I tried to use it that I just couldn't use it. The crash was probably reflected one downside of Foundry, which is the it's on the, the main the main Foundry software, the Pathfinder Two E package and all of the 50 modules i use they're constantly updating so there's always going to be some instability going on it crashed when i tried to turn on this um i have this campfire map which is within a module so that's when it all happened cool oh no foundry the, the whole community is like very almost zealous and fanatical about foundry the pathfinder community yeah yeah um, because the because of the OGL, all of the rules are here. Like I did, I only had to pay fifty dollars for a one time license, Bogus. and I don't have a subscription. And you get to use all of the options, player options from all the books, and the bestiary, all of the monsters from all of the adventures in the bestiaries. Yep, and you just really need good. to upload your I, art. And I, I like any PPT about where you can get window pop outs. Yeah. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. the, the, the only the only VTT I've played that I really didn't like was Fantasy Grounds because you got to manage everything on the same screen. It's really difficult. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was my I previous one. I think I spent about fifty dollars on Roll Twenty just between campaigns because I forgot to unsubscribe. <laughs> I still oh, use Roll Twenty. Okay. Works fine. Yep, it's yeah. not as fancy. But Roll Twenty works does, pretty does, well for D and D, but like, that's what it, it needs uh, to do. I find it hard to do, like, it's really, really bad for Pathfinder in Roll20. Because just, like, if you open up a Pathfinder game in Roll20, look at the character sheet, and you'll know what I mean. Okay, we are at 4 o'clock, so I had a great time, everybody, and I'm really looking forward to our next session. 
Uh, I think we are looking at the 27th or 28th, but I need to get to reach a number of people. Kobe will probably join us next year. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll see you yeah. guys next year. So happy new year yeah. and, and Merry Christmas. And as well. Yeah. Oh, so glad any other holidays you celebrate. Yeah. What yeah. Is, yeah. Is, <laughs> carry over, right? Events. I celebrate Honda days and Toyotathon. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, when does your period of time end when you're out of town and stuff? Um, I'll be back on, well, I should be back on the second. Um, okay. I think I'll be mostly caught up and kind of on schedule for, you know, content creation. Um, so, yeah, assuming that I am, then I should be available. Okay. Okay, great. So that is all. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Well, Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron, for, Thanks, Ron, okay, for running it. Super fun. Yeah, sure. I actually had fun. I never have fun as a player. So, like, that was good times. Okay. Have a good one. I'll right. just say K until he ends it. Okay. All right. <laughs> yep. <laughs>